All right, so let me take a look at my mic. All right, we're back. Uh, hopefully, we're a little bit more in real time. Um, I was five minutes back, so I had to start and restart the stream. Hopefully, we'll get some of our viewers back. Um, and hopefully, this is a little bit more uh, real time. Yeah, that ends up being a problem. That's why I got I ordered a new modem. I called up Xfinity, tried to get the, you know a better um, a better service. They told me you had the best service I can get. So I, I got to be honest, I'm gonna freaking move. I'm going to freaking move to get better internet. Is that crazy? Because, like, internet is life. Like, I need that. I need internet. Because this is what I want to eventually be doing full time. And I, I don't mean necessarily YouTube. I mean, yes, YouTube. But, like, trading and YouTube, like, I'd like to only do that. And cut out everything else in my life as far as, like, work. But, unfortunately, I got two jobs. Um You know, trying to get this YouTube channel off the ground. Day trading, crypto trading um you know regular stocks and securities i was into etfs but i don't have enough money to leave money into etfs right now um so hopefully we are not on too much of a delay let's see how do i i mean we're only about a minute uh, a couple seconds back right now let's see I'm going to pull it up on my phone and just listen to it real quick. All right. It's like a few seconds back. Maybe I can mess with the, the latency. Let's see. Low latency. All right. I think that's how you fix it. I don't know. I'm going to leave it right now. Um, no data. I'm going to leave it right now and then, you know, just tell me if I'm way too far back and then I'll just restart it. Um, not a big deal. Uh, wow. HCMC's freaking stock twits is going nuts. Oh, wow. That was short lived. Shut up, man. You don't know shit about markets if you're saying that was short lived. It's called a freaking pullback. Learn what you're talking about. God. Oh, now I got people just whining and bitching. Yeah, whatever. All right. If you don't believe in HCMC, get the hell out of it. We're not looking to sell today. We weren't looking for 0 .0034. If you're selling at that, good for you. Make your money. Get out. Um, I'm waiting for, uh, I'm waiting for the um, the lawsuit to end. I don't care. I got two million shares. I don't know what's going on with that direct offering, but they said you can get 25 percent more. I'm gonna get another 500 thousand. Um, if you're in the chat right now, please go ahead and say what's up. Uh, if you got any tickers you want us to look at, please let me know. We will go through them. Um, outside of that, I mean, we can look at what's hot right now. Come on, load up, load up. Like, but it's the same old stocks. If you're not in them, I mean, BTX, let me look at, just see this real quick. Um, BTX. Yeah, BTX looks like it's consolidating now. This went up to 91. I don't know why it's not showing that. This went up to 91 in the pre-market. Um, it looks like it had a little bit of a rebound in the 70s, and now it's just selling off. Is this a one minute? Yo, trading view has been real weird. I, I, I don't know if it's my internet or my computer, but a lot of stuff is just being real weird. I might have to down that making 10 gate to get a new computer to like ten dollars because i might need one now and, and um i really want my stuff to work better you know and i feel like i got all good stuff but it's just old you know my laptop's three years old probably shouldn't be streaming on it i got 19 tabs open i mean look i'm looking at my stuff i got obs uh, i'm switching back and forth from that i got motive wave which is really cool uh really don't like where it's showing um, this is something that I might do a video on later. If, you, if anybody has any questions about it, let me know. We all use TradingView and Weeble. I want to say 98%. But, like, I've been exploring other places. Um, and there's a lot of good ones. I mean, there is a lot. They're just expensive. You just have to have the money. So you got to make sure you're making the money uh, to rationalize spending it. Oh, excuse me. Like, I made some good money. So I spent the, you know, eleven or 1200 for a year of uh, Benzinga, and I love it. Um, it's not great for charting, 
you know, this is always get your uh, trading view uh, during the Black Friday discount. I love trading view, but it has just been weird. Things have been delayed. I'm not getting my information correct. It's not matching exchanges, um, but I'll probably still keep it just be just out of like hating change and using it for so long. Like I don't have to learn how to use trading view at this point, like motive wave. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm guessing shit. I'm like, oh, maybe this will work. Let's see what that happened. I don't know what I watched even some of the videos, um, but I don't know. I um I have a short attention span, so I uh, I didn't watch all of them, but I watched some of them. And it's pretty cut and dry, but it's so like, I mean, it looks like a free, like I don't like this old school DOS looking '90s '80s looking, you know, Bloomberg terminal looking old ass shit. Like I like, you know, this is why everybody likes Trading View. Then this is why everybody likes Weeble. Robin Hood, even though Robin Hood's garbage, we all know that. Um, but they like it because it looks good and it's like pleasing to the eye. It's easy as hell to use. This looks like I gotta get a freaking degree uh, in it to know. I mean, Jesus, like the options, like the strategy, like, and there's so much, so much good stuff. Uh, it just takes a lot to learn. It takes a lot to learn it. Um, I basically got it for one thing, and that's the audio, the auto Elliott wave, because um, I suck at Elliott wave, and I stopped learning it. Um, I only stopped learning it, um, well, number one, because I'm a lazy ass, and I, I learn too much stuff as it is, so I start prioritizing stuff, um, and it was taking too much time. There was too many different probabilities, and I was like, well, if these are all set in stone as far as what the rules are, why isn't there a program to do it? Like, why would we be doing Elliott Wave by hand? I, I don't understand that. I mean, ABC, one, two, three, four, five, ABC, you know, one, two, three's up, five waves down, three waves up, you know, Fibonacci retracements. A computer can do that way better. So that's why I've been looking for an auto Elliott Wave where a computer is doing it because it's probabilities and statistics. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I don't feel like, um, like I should be doing it. it looks like I'm starting to get a little bit because I'm listening to myself on a different on like my phone I'm a couple seconds back I don't like it I just want it to be more real time because like especially when you're looking at like my price might be a diff like I might be saying something but we might be like 10 seconds in the past and the price is already ripped uh, Bitcoin found a bottom at 57.89, holy crap, and it's already back to 58. This is why Bitcoin is the bomb. You know what? I'm turning the Bitcoin um, bot back on. I use three commas for my crypto trading. I basically have automated my trading, uh, and it is a golden service. If somebody wants to talk about it at some time, sometime, just go ahead and let me know. Um, start the bot. I wonder if I can, if I have a referral. Huh. Let's see if they have a referral thing for me. Uh, three commas referral agreement. An agreement? Alright. Whatever. Okay. So I do have one. Okay. Let's see. Do we make anything off of it? Do you make anything off of it? Hmm. Alright. So I'm just going to put a note. Um... I just want to do it now. Let me just do it now. Uh, copy link. Uh, let's see. And let me see if anybody's saying anything. Nope. No comments. Any comments, please go ahead. Uh, we, we're, we're losing a little bit of uh, bandwidth. Just give it a few seconds. Bear with it. It'll come back. Um, I'm going to shut a few things, shoot more, a few more computers off. Uh, maybe cut down some. Is there anything I can close? I don't want to close anything. I don't want to close anything. So, um, let's just edit this. Might as well edit it while it is being crappy. I apologize if it's if it's loading back and forth. You know, like I said, I've been working on the internet, and I'll, I'll get it to where it needs to be. Um. 
crypto brokerage links um, all right so I'm sorry if I'm being quiet I'm just adding a, a link in my um, section hold on Settings to make passive income. Did I put my Binance link up? Works best with Binance.us. Use link above to make account. And there's our referral. Oops, crap. Uh, where's my referral code? There it is. Sorry, guys. This is all stuff that I should be doing beforehand. Um, I wasn't even planning on doing this today. So, whatever. Let's see. Uh, if I get rid of that. Nope, not enough. Get rid of that. Nope, still not enough. Um, get rid of this. Up, oh, still eight letters. Hmm. Nothing I want to get rid of. All right, I'll just get rid of this. This is eight letters. All right. And back that up and save it. Okay, sorry about that guys. Uh, I don't see anybody throwing any questions in the chat So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and set my stuff up. Please uh, throw a like and subscribe if you want to um, If you want to um, Go over anything, please just let me know Let me know we will go over it right now I will go and do the due diligence if you want you let me know what you want. We will do it for free There's no super chats here. There's no none of that you tell, tell me a ticker or a coin. You say that you want the charting on it. You say, where are we going to be in three days? You say, hey, what's the due diligence? We will do it together. That's what I'm doing. Learn together, earn together. That is the motto of the Night Trader channel. It's to learn together and to earn together. So if you have a coin that you're wondering about or a stock that you're wondering about, if you want to know what's moving, literally ask me anything. You want to know what I ate for breakfast? Shit, I'll tell you. You want to know what, what I got in my coffee? I will tell you. Go ahead and just go ahead and talk. Let's go ahead and go through this together because I like trading with other people. All right, so let me get a little vape real quick. Rock and roll. So... Um, I'm happy. I see that there's some viewers here. Thank you so much for coming. Um, if you have any questions or you want to say anything, please just go ahead and throw those in the chat. I would love to talk to you. Um, if you shit, you want me to do an impression? I'll do an impression. Whatever you want. I mean, this is for you. I'm trading regardless of the fact. Um, I got my positions up here. ELCR, nothing going on. SFTW, good freaking luck on that. I don't even know what my... Let's start going over... Um, the mistakes. Let's go over my mistakes. That's something you, you can never see from YouTubers, right? All right, so AACG. Um, I have 1,300 shares of AACG. I got into it uh, after a Wall Street pump. I've been sitting in this bitch for a month. Um, it's worth about four grand. I am $2,400 down. I'm at a 457 trade price. I'm not averaging down on that until I see some sort of movement in one direction or the other that gives me an indication that I want to get out of that. So ADMP, I only have 180 shares. It's not even worth talking about. It's 141 bucks. I'm down like seven bucks. Um, it says I'm down 216 year to date. Um, I did sell some under just to dump it off a little bit. Um, but I really believe in that company and I think it's just being shorted. Uh, and that's why it's screwed. AMC, I got 750 on Ameritrade. I got 60 on Webull. I got 
five call options. Two for, let's see, I'm going to bring the mic over. Two for June 18th at $19. Two for June 18th at $40. Jesus Christ, if I could pray on that one. Um, and then I got one leap uh, January 2022 on the 21st, but in 2022 at 40 so maybe that'll be worth something. So I got five call option on AMC. I'm diamond handing that. It doesn't matter if it can go to two dollars. I'm still holding it. Um, cause I, I got I gotta be in on it. You know what I'm saying? I gotta be in on the squeeze, and I gotta I gotta diamond hand with everybody else. Um, what else? All right, let's go down here. So AACG, that's a dog. Stay away from that with your life. Uh, BlackBerry. Let's see what's up with BlackBerry. So holy shit, I am four thousand dollars into BlackBerry. I'm only down about 300 something. Uh, I got a trade price of 948, but we're sitting at 870 right now. So that's just getting wrecked. Um, I'm not going to do nothing with that for right now because I don't want to pay attention to that. I'm, I'm just basically like when I'm redoing my portfolios, focus on one stock and average down on that joint and get in and out of it, you know, as you please. Um, and then move on to the next. Don't try to do them all at once or else you'll end up, you know, running through your capital unless you have you know an unlimited amount of capital my, my capital is limited um so that's blackberry 400 shares at 948 um almost fourth yeah almost over four thousand into that down 397 dollars on the day elcr garbage um might even sell it for a loss when it I, it's not even trading right now they're on like a t12 uh halt i don't know what the deal with is with that but it's for like 20 days to a month. I don't remember. Um, I'll look at it if it matters. 2 million shares of HCMC. Currently up, believe it or not, $600. I'm in at 0 .0026. Um, we went all the way up to 0 .0036, I believe, today. And then we sold off. And I don't even care. Like, I'm going to worry about that when I start seeing some news about the lawsuit. Outside of that, whatever. Uh, Pixie. Now, Pixie is my mistake from Friday um, I tried to get into this momentum play where's Friday so it went to here you little bastard where are you um, so yeah I mean this thing went crazy I got in um, I where, where were we like around VWAP I thought we were gonna bounce and nah that it just kept going and kept going then I looked at I mean, it seemed like some decent, like a decent company. They have, they got four SPACs. I mean, there's no reason this should be the price that it is, uh, but it just kept deteriorating, deteriorating. Um, so I think my, my price is 323. I'm not that far off. Um, got about three grand in that down $307 as of right now. Uh, might average down again. I'm so close. Um, I really just want to get the hell out of it. But that was um, another one where I made some fat finger mistakes. And while I was averaging down, I ended up, I was doing $100 blocks because I got 800 shares now. So obviously there was, you know, it was 10 buys, but it looks like eight because I accidentally sold at a loss twice because I was trying to do it so quick. I was like, um, here, let me pull it up. I was experimenting with, uh, where are you, you bastard? Uh, where's my right screen? So I was experimenting with Active Trader, and I I don't know what happened. I think I had I pressed the wrong button, and it was just instant, and it was like just instant loss. So I ended up down a hundred. Even if we hit my three twenty three, I still got to get a hundred dollars over to be break even. Um, but I mean, this is looking crappy. Um, is it gonna happen? We'll. See. Oh, this is HCMC, but that that's how I screwed up with um, Pixie. Let me pull up Pixie. Um, I could see HCMC over here. Not a big deal. Um, I set a alarm for if it goes over 330. Um, but yeah, I mean, this isn't a bad company to be in. We'll take a look at it a little bit closer. Um, I'm not really into the drawing tools on them on thinkorswim it has it's like really good there's so many good programs but all right looks like a little bit of a recovery happening um let me get rid of active trader i might end up selling out my whole position for a loss 
click the guy you know my mouse is going over three screens but like i said i need eight i've decided i need eight two of them them uh what do you call them uh two of those vertical joints those vertically long ones and then six in the middle that's how i want to do it and then with a bomb computer but like i said i gotta make I'm, 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 I made that goal. I got to make that 10 K on Ameritrade, not on Weeble, not in crypto because then that, you know, that's cheating only on Ameritrade. Once I get another 10 K over my losses. So technically, sh I don't even want to tell you, uh, what my losses are. Let's see, but I will tell you, um, I don't want to bring up my account info, but I'll just, I'll you believe me. You'll believe it. Um, Oh, five thousand nine hundred dollars in losses so i need to make yep six thousand in losses so sixteen thousand dollars and i could buy myself a computer and screens then i will be able to rationalize the purchase i will allow myself to do it i could do it now but then i'm just a baby with toys that isn't doing anything right with them so i need to prove that to myself because i've I, my last two no i had a couple winners but my last my my friday trading was so bad that I don't deserve, I don't deserve the setup until I uh, until I fix that. All right, so Pixie looks like it came back to VWAP for a millisecond and just got blasted back down. We're gonna see what happens. I mean, this thing could just take a crap on us at any minute. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of an analysis on it. Let's see, is there anybody here? Uh, listen, if you're watching, thank you. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to throw them in the chat. I will talk about anything. Anything you want. Specifically, be like, be very specific. Be like, hey, uh, can you check the five-minute chart and tell me in five days what this is going to be? And I'll tell you what I think. You know, it's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a dude that's been doing this for a while. Um, and got some skills and i got some you know other stuff too but i'm not going to talk about that i'm just going to say i'm not a financial advisor that being said throw whatever ticker whatever cryptocurrency coin you want shit you could talk about the you could throw in a news story i'll tell you my opinion on that ask me you know how things are going with my girlfriend i'll talk about that ask me how the dog's health is we can bring the dog on stream i'll have him bark twice not a problem you want me to do an impression of freaking christopher walken i will do that it'll be poor but i will do that you want me to, you know, I don't know, talk about trades, trades, and you can pretend you're watching him. We could do that. Not a dead cat. Not a dead cat. You know what it is. Um, but yeah, so whatever. I'm happy you're here. Um, and until I get some questions, I'm just going to go over my goal for the day. My goal for the day is getting my ass out of Pixie. Pixie's going to be good long term. I'm not into long term right now. I wanted to scalp this bitch for like 20 bucks. And ended up three grand down <laughs> just trying to get it going. And let me tell you, let me make the mistakes so that you don't make them. And, you know, it's just about being overzealous and I wasn't following my plan. When I follow my plan, I win every time. If I go into a momentum play without following my plan, this is what happens. And it's not a big deal. Oh, Filecoin, new signal, Filecoin. Um, buy Filecoin at... 0.0027626 BTC sell at 0.0028637 BTC. So there's a new buy signal on Filecoin. Filecoin, um, I bought 17 or something of those. I think that was the minimum on Gemini. When the, the earn started, I bought them joints at $23 a piece. They're like 170 or something. But I just left them to earn interest. Like crypto is all about interest earning because they really offer a lot of that right now you could earn interest on almost anything um except crypto.com screwed me on engine coin um they said they were going to earn interest and then they said you had to put it on the exchange and then they're like oh we'll send you a link they never sent me a link so crypto.com get your shit together what's your deal i need to earn interest on that engine coin and take a look at engine coin too and if you want to talk about it let me know i'm not going to go over anything that isn't what i'm doing unless you ask for it so I'm going to do what I would do as if you're not here. I'll keep my eye on the chat. And if you want to talk about stuff, we're going to do it. I'll go over with you. Um, so let's see. I need to jump. Um, I need to just do something real quick. And nobody's saying nothing. So I don't feel bad about it. 
and maybe the two of you that'll hear will leave and you know that's okay i understand um let me all right i'm not um and let me know if you're if my audio levels are okay and if i'm too far uh back like sometimes i'm like my internet will go out and then I'll end up like five minutes back and then it's like stupid. Uh, but I'm working on that. We're getting it rolling. Um, I'm going to go ahead and be right back in like five to ten minutes. Um, and then I'm going to leave this up right now. So this right now is your signals. This is a $1,200 a year program that I'm leaving here for you for free right now. Here's your movers. If you want to look at your movers, there's your tickers on your movers. Those are the gainers over the market session, the regular market session. Um, these are who's blasting. This is the news real time as it happens. So you want to get any ideas from here? These are the news. You have every signal offered from Benzinga right here. Uh, 52 week highs, option activities. Um, I took out the session highs because then it'll just all be session highs. So I got day low, 52 week low, day high, 52 week high, price spikes, option activities, block trades, and that's giant trades spread over multiple exchanges, normally by institutions, and then halts and resumes. You will see all that right here. So PRPO just did a trading halt. Oh, so it resumed at 935. So PRPO, what's going on with PRPO? Let's take a look. Right before I want to, because I, I kind of, I got to take a real quick break. PRPO. What's going on with Precipio, bro? Um, so it looks like they blasted the hell off from 181 to 246. Oh, you're sitting pretty if you were down here. Um, came down. Are they starting a W? Looks like they went, hmm. So that, they triple topped. Mm, triple top I don't like. Uh, this is also going into a rising wedge. Uh, I don't know. We got to see the strength here. I don't want this to do what it normally does. Uh, this is going into a, let's see. Yeah, this is a rising, this is a channel. All right, well, this is more of a channel, so we might have a good chance to go up from here. So let's keep an eye on these levels. Look at the point of control. You want to break this point of control on the VPVR. Um, so, all right. So that's Precipio. That's doing some stuff right now. They just resumed. I'm going to leave this up when I take my break so that you have all the stuff that I have. Um, I'm not going to leave a chart up because you could pull up charts easy. Um, this is something that not everybody has that costs a good amount of money, and I am willing to share it, especially when I when I go on a break for a second. Um, so Precipio, whatever, whatever. Um, I don't really care about it. I'm going back to Pixie because Pixie is my goal. My goal is to get the... Oh, man, this is not looking great. All right, so hopefully we hold right here. I'm not going to bother to draw a trend, uh, a, uh, a resistance line because... Or a support line because, you know, it's right there on your auto uh, Fibonacci. Uh, all right, so looks like we got another viewer. Thank you for coming. Uh, and he left. All right, well, thank you for stopping by. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick five. Um, please leave any questions in the chat. My watch keeps telling me to stand up. Uh, leave any questions in the chat. Um, I will go over whatever you want. Literally whatever you want. No, you know, no fees, no super chats. Um, nothing. This is for free. Uh, whatever you want to go over. And like I said, um, if you rewind a little bit, you could see that I basically offered anything. Anything you, anything you want to talk about, we could talk about. Doesn't even have to be stock related. I got I got news for you. I end up on tangents all the time. Um, so I'm gonna leave up Benzinga for right now. I am gonna go to my studio. I am going to put my be right back screen up. So I will be right back. Um, I'm not gonna turn the music up. Hold on, let me see the level. All right, I'm going to leave the music where it's at so that I don't have to bring it down. Um, so that's it. I'm going to pause for a minute. You just keep your eye, eyes on this. There's major stuff happening here. Here's your movers. Like I said, real-time news as it happens. Boom. We're only a few seconds behind, so this is happening in real time. These are your gainers. 
This is basically everything right here. Block trades, halts, resumes, lows for the day, price spikes, options activity. So all this is right here. This is a lot of good stuff. So do what you're doing. Uh, please stay and watch. Uh, take a look. You know, this is a good thing to hold to have on a screen while you're trading. Um, and I'll be right back. And once again, Bobby Knight, Knight Trader, I thank you so much. Oh, we got somebody. I am going to hold off on leaving. Hold on. See, this is how much I am uh, into having people talk. I'm going to turn the be right back off. Let me hold that. Hold off on that. All right. He wants to look at HCMC again. All right. So HCMC. So they are just absolutely going crazy. Like the the talk on stock twits is literally freezing. There's so many messages. All right. I can't even pull it down. So let's look at HCMC on trading view. This is 15 minutes delayed. So let me take a look on the right. Um, I'll back out of Pixie. I'm not worried about it. It is what it is. Uh, HCMC. And thank you for coming. Uh, is that Christ Dolphin? Christ Dolphin 69. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Throw a like and subscribe. Uh, you know, uh, if you enjoy the content. And I thank you for coming to check me out. Um, I'm looking at. All right, HCMC. Let me pull this out. So HCMC on Ameritrade is at 0.0028. Um, this is 15 minutes delayed and this is showing 0.0027. Uh, we're barcoding again and I hate that crap. Oh, I just got a crypto signal by uh, Neo at 0.0018 and sell at 0.001948. That is a crypto signal for Neo, not the stock Neo, N E O, the crypto coin. Buy at 0.00188 BTC. Sell at 0.00194.8 BTC. Okay, so now that I got that out of the way, let me get to Christ Dolphin 69's HCMC. Um, let's see. So we had a huge run up. We were actually going up in the pre market, which I don't understand because this is an OTC market. So something was happening behind the scenes. We made it all the way up to 35. Let me double check that on Ameritrade. Um, I'm sorry, think or swim. Oh, it's being, it's being a whiny bitch about it. Let me try to, all right, let me get this back up. HCMC, HCMC. All right. So I'm just, give me a second to, uh, I got to jerk around with the freaking thing. Cause when you pull it up, it's all flat. So you got to like stretch it out. You got to do switch between tools. It is just a pain in the balls. All right. Um, drawings here. I'll show you what I'm doing. Like such a pain in the ass. This is why I like trading view and other stuff. Uh, right screen. All right. I'll fix that at a different point. I tried to stretch it out and it wouldn't. And I think it's cause my right screen sucks, uh, but that's okay. All right. So we're coming back up. We're at point oh oh two eight right now. Um, there's no telling what will happen with this today. Uh, but it looks like we're about to honestly, it looks like we're about to turn around on the MACD. We're losing buy pressure. Um, what's my OBV or my on balance volume? Let me take a look. Uh, let me pull up another screen. Hold on one second for me. Uh, on balance, on balance volumes going up. Uh, projection oscillator is going down. Uh, MACD is about to turn. RSI is turning down. Um, so hopefully we're going to see a uh, bounce at this 0.618 at 0.025. And then I'd really like us to see uh, come back to 0.028. That's what should happen. So we should be. Uh, let me get some arrows or some shit. Arrow. So we should be going about to like right there then. And then we should go. Hey, bitch. Right there. And then I'll get another. All right keep being a douche about it so then we should go back to about right there just from what i'm seeing just from the rsi and the macd the macd is about to turn so expect a drop um hopefully there's enough support at 0.025 um but i mean that's just what the indicators say up oh, and the rsi decided to turn around but that's good i'm happy either way because you got to remember they're doing that direct offering soon bro and if you're an owner, which I am, a 2 million shares, you can get 25%. I want this bitch to go back down to 0.0001 so I can get my 
or yeah, my 25% real cheap. But if it stays up, that's good too. All right. So let's see. Um, HCMC. So that's what we're talking about right now. Uh, let me pull this out. So I got a few studies that I got to get off of Ameritrade or a Thinkorswim. God, Thinkorswim kind of is not as good as other. I got two other tools that are better. Um, I got. Let me just pause. Now you, now I'm not gonna bother because the realist is on Ameritrade right now. So we're at 0 0.0028. You could see. Just keep an eye right here. Right here, 0 0.0028. You could see the buy and order book. So there's like this is weird. All I see is them going back and forth. Um, but. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of buying, man. There is a lot of buying. We're blasting right here. Are we over the 200? All right, we're on the 200 EMA. We need to stay over this. If we stay over this, we're gonna come up to this VWAP, and then we're gonna decide whether we're gonna break it or not. So we're between here and here. If we break down, we have support here, um, but we'd have to go down full. So I would expect 0.24 to 0.25 if we pull back. We really want to stay over this. Um, I'm going to leave that up, actually, because HCMC... Oh, wait. Here we go. So I have very little knowledge of this in general. If it does spike above 0 0.0035, I guess it's unlikely. Would it be smart to sell, or is there a possibility that it will grow in the near future? HM, got to buy a million then. Thanks, man. Appreciate the rundown. Oh, so I guess I answered your question without knowing that you asked the question. Yeah, um, it's... It really depends on like what you're looking for. I'm looking for long term on HCMC. I believe it's a good company and I believe that they're going to win the lawsuit. Not financial advice. That's what I think. That being said, I have 2 million shares. Um, they're doing a direct offering, offering 25% to people that are 25% off um, to anyone that owns the stock and you can get 25% of what you currently own. So I have 200, I have 2 million shares, which means I'm privy to 500,000 shares at 25% off market price. Now, is it strange that the market price is going to be freaking huge? No, that I expected this to happen because then 25% is still going to be high. We'll probably see a sell off after that. Um, tell you the truth it really depends on what your goals are so if you made money because we are going to run back up the way that volume is looking we are going to run back up um so it's up to you whether you want to sell or not personally i feel like um once you we have an rsi where are we once our rsi comes back to between 27 and 30 i would load up a little bit more um is what i would do and, you know, if I didn't have the two million, I'm waiting for the direct offering to get my 25 percent off because two million is kind of good enough. And I'm in 10 plays as it is. Um, but I think in the long run that we can see a couple pennies out of this. Um, I know people are saying dollars. Da, 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 da. That's what I wanted to know. Long term looks good. Then I really do appreciate it. I did not know about the 25 percent thing. Yes. Um, yeah, dude, look that up. So they're doing a direct offering where they're offering 25% off of the market price. It's going to be a five-day market price. They're going to average that out, and they're going to offer 25% off um, to owners of the stock at that point, and they're going to offer you 25% of what you already own at that. So like I said, I have 2 million shares. That will entitle me to 500,000 shares at 25% off the five-day average of the market price. So that's what I'm waiting for, and that's when I'm going to do my next buy. Um, long term, I believe this is going up to a penny or higher, and that is good enough for me. Now, a dollar would be great. That would be $2 million. Do I expect that? No. Um, is it possible? Yes, it is possible. Um, so that's that. Um, rock and roll. If you want any more information about HCMC, if you want like a due diligence uh, Christ Dolphin 69, we can do that. That is not a problem. Um, I still have to... Oh, pennies would be great. That is helpful. Thanks again. Thank and thank you. Please subscribe, man. I'd like to see you here again. Um, and throw a like if you can. I would appreciate it. Um, like I said, though, I'm gonna take a quick break unless anybody else has any questions or if Christ Dolphin 69, if you have any other questions, um, for right now, I'm gonna take a real quick break and then I'll come back. Um, HCMC looking good. We're holding on this 200 EMA. So you want to see us hold on that too? Thank you for the like, dude. Um. 
as long as we hold above that 200 EMA, we're up. And there it goes. I told you. 200 EMA to the VWAP. What did I freaking just say would happen? Bam. So we're either going to reject, which we just did, or we're going to break through. So look for a bang between these two. If we come down to the 50, mm, going to be a little iffy on the day. Mo is back, my man Mo. What up, brother? Yo, listen, I got a second job. Um, I had a death in the family, so I haven't been streaming. Um, it is good to see you, my man. Mo is my number one fan, my man. Mo's gonna I'm gonna put his name in my in my something. Like I said, I'm in, incorporating Mo into this once we get um a little bit more attraction. Um thank you for coming. Oh, thank you, Christ. Uh no, all right, no problem, bro. If you have any other questions, let me know. Um yeah, bud. Yeah, like I was just saying, I had a death in the family and I got a second job, so there's been a lot going on. Um, I had to get a new modem because my, my internet has absolutely sucked. Still hasn't really helped. Um, and I've just been mining Bitcoin like crazy, too. Um, uh, that being said, you you came just as I'm about to take a quick break. I got I to gotta, um, you know go get some coffee, use a bathroom real quick. Um, but I will be back in a few minutes. Um, if you got any questions, my man... Oh, yeah, no, nah, it's okay, bud. Um, I've been losing a family member or a friend literally every month this year. Um, literally every month. January, February, March, and I'm sorry. January, February, March, and April, um, I had a death of either a family member or of a friend. So um, it sucks, but, you know, you just got to keep moving on. And I thank you for, um, I thank you for saying that. Um, that being said, I got to take this break, man. I, I really got to pee, bro. Um, let me take this break, get some coffee, go to the bathroom, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Um, if you want to go over anything, just go ahead and leave it in the chat. Due diligence. You want to go over a coin. You want to go over a stock. You want to talk about my day. You want to talk about the news. You want to see uh, how my dog's doing. You want to talk about shoes. No, I don't want to talk about shoes. Outside of that, you want me to do impression. Whatever you need. Um, but let me take this break real quick and I will be right back. Um, I promise. And there's also, I want to show you this Mo. Um, let me just turn off Ameritrade real quick. All right. And I know I keep saying I'm gonna take a break and then I don't, um, motive wave, bro. Yo, this thing is cool. And look at it. It came down. So this auto Elliott wave works, bro. I mean, it's been working. Where'd it go? Oh, no, don't go down further. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, yo, this is, like, accurate. This is why I was saying a computer will do Elliott Wave better than we ever will. All right. I got to take that break. Uh, I'll catch you when you get back. All right, thanks, Mo. You are the man. Mo is my number one man. I just want everybody to know that when you follow me and you talk with me, I will shot you out the whole time. I will work with you, answer your questions, whatever you need. We will do it, and it is all free, and it's going to stay free. Um, my whole point is to make money doing the trading. That's that's my goal. And then, obviously, if you want to use a referral link, I don't mind. And like and subscribe, too. That'd be cool. All right, boys uh, and girls, uh, if you're there, um, do a quick break real quick, and I will be back in five minutes. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it, and I will be right back.
Yo, 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 you already know what it is, not a dead cat. All right, sorry, I am back. Um, let's see, so what do we got going on right now? Um, let me just pull back up. It looks like my iPad decided to turn itself off. All right, so uh, what do we got? What do we got? Let's see, so... We are rocking and rolling. What's up, Billy? What are you doing, my man? You got any questions, bro? Yep. Uh, so, and we got Mo in the chat. We got Billy in the chat. We got two of our OGs. Okay, so we're looking at Benzinga Pro right now. This is showing you all the top gainers in the entire market right now. This is everything. Uh, BTX had a huge jump to 91 in the morning, and now it's sitting at 67. Hopefully you did not get in at the top. We have our option alerts happening here at the top. Uh, this is our news feed. These are all the news stories real time. We have our price spikes, our option activities, and our 52 wake and our day highs. And then the same down here for the lows. And then we have our block trades, which is trades by institutions or hedge funds that are normally spread out across uh, multiple brokerages. And then we have our halt and resumes. Uh, looks like nothing's happened in a minute. So we are just going to move back over to the charts for right now. HCMC, um, let me look at the right. So we are, this is correct. Uh, we are at 0.027 right now, and we're in that range. Um, we're just going to be banging back and forth until we see some sort of movement. Um, oh, here we go. What, what's up? So Mo's saying something. I'm all out of GME. Pumped it all into Doge. All right, where'd you, where'd you get into Doge? And did you, get it, did you get out of GME at a profit? Where did you get out? Um, let's take a look. Let's go to GME. Um, I have, I, I had 3000 Doge. I sold them at like 25 cents, but I bought them at two cents. And here's the crazy uh, thing about it. A few years back, I had millions of Doge. I got it for like 35 cents and I sold it off for 70 or for $35. And I sold it all for $70. I had millions of them. Um, but that's just how it goes. Um, not a big deal. Okay, so GameStop is taking a dump right now. We just broke past the 1.68. We are on our way to the 2.618. Um, but like I said, GameStop, not a big deal. Hold on. I got a... Oh, you got like 10,000 Doge. You got in at 30 cents. All right. All right. Um, you want me to go over it? Yeah, I had millions. I had, um, I want to say like 50 million. Um, it was... It was, there was so many, it was so many zeros. It was like 0. 0.00004 or something. Like there was like four or five zeros in that joint. Like I got that stuff in like 2017, 2018. I don't even remember when it was when I started mining, like the end of, or beginning of 2017. Um, I just started getting into all of like the altcoins and stuff. Um, but I was just flipping them. Um, I held on to some because last year I kind of stopped trading crypto because the IRS scared the crap out of me by not sending me my tax return until like a month ago. So I didn't know if I was getting audited or not. So I didn't buy crypto all of last year, um, which sucks because I don't, I would like, I'm up a, a huge amount with what I have left. I would be up. I want to say I'd have over a million dollars in crypto. I'll leave it. I'll leave it there. Um, instead I have about 50 K so that just goes to show you that um, you got to stick with that stuff when you believe it and don't let regulations scare you out of trading just know that you're gonna have to set aside some money to pay the IRS this is what it is and that was it um, I should have kept going on with it but could have you know could have should have would have uh, it is what it is so I have a bot right now three commas bot um, trading um right now i got a doge bot on uh binance that i got three of them actually one brings me back uh us dollars one brings me back usd tether and then one brings me back doge um so that's how i'm kind of collecting doge right now hoping that it will um you know keep going um so i'm just collecting it at a very small rate i only have after i got rid of that uh, 3,000, I think I made, God, not a lot, a hundred bucks, maybe something like that. 200 bucks. Um, I don't even remember. Maybe it was more than that. Honestly, it was, it was a while ago. This is when it first started. Uh, like I said, I sold at 25 and I thought that was the top. So we've seen a lot since then. So that just tells you 
uh, when I bought and sold, uh, but it was over a month ago. Uh, but it wasn't for huge gains, so I am right now, you know, just slowly but surely collecting some Doge on the way up. I'm not like actively purchasing it. Um, during the week, I like to focus strictly on the stock market, um, and then everything else uh, is just I automate my uh, crypto trading now on the three commas bot. Um, and uh, they basically Binance is the best for them. If you're in America, um, there's a few others um, for outside of America that you can use as well. Um, but I have a link down there to Binance. If you want to start a Binance account, just use that link. And then I have a link to three commas trading bot. Um, I would use that and if you want to know the settings I can tell you who to check out that that where I got my settings from but let me tell you this dude knows what the hell he's doing because I used his settings the way that he set them up specifically and I haven't had a single loser and that's even with everything going down uh, oh it looks like we got hold on I got a couple uh, chats I want to look at so all right so Mo said it's weird how in the very long run had we held some of our losers, we'd be making bank on crypto now. But in the moment, while it's causing you lo losses, it feels like it's the right choice to sell. Yeah, no, I, I feel you. Like, you never know what's going to happen, and you just have to. That's why everything's got to be conviction. Um, and then there's a lot of luck involved, too. Like, you know, you we're, we're spread so much FUD from news and from, like, Bitcoin's going to zero, da-da-da-da-da. Everybody talking their shit about crypto has scared a lot of people out and then as soon as goldman sachs you know and all those people started mining it and then all you know they're trying to get etfs going there's already um grayscale's got their their uh etf i mean they, it's just it, it's going all the way in the long run you know and, you know maybe and they're always saying oh we're gonna do this we're gonna do that listen they had 12 years to stop crypto they had 12 years they're not stopping it so that's my my thought on it um, as far as Bitcoin and then all the quality altcoins. There's a lot of bullshit out there right now, like Safe Moon and all that cake crap. People are maybe making money off of it, and I'm sure they are. But if they don't sell it like real quick, they're going to end up with a lot of bags. Um, so, yes. So that's Mo. So now I see we got Seville, Sevilla Che. What's up? Very nice to see you on the chat. Thank you for coming. Um, please like and subscribe if you get any value from this. And so, what crypto stocks are you long on? Okay. Um, so as far as stocks, let's start there. Obviously, uh, you know what? Let's start with crypto. Obviously, I'm long on Bitcoin. I'm a Bitcoin maximalist. I think we're going to see 100,000. I'm long on Ethereum. Um, I think we're going to see up to 10,000 on that. Uh, let's just... I don't want to go to my crypto bot. I'm going to go to crypto. Oh, but you know what? Shit. I'll, I'll show you. So this is everything I'm trading in my crypto bot right now. Um, and as you can see, they're mostly green. So the bot's doing pretty damn good. Um, Ethereum. Binance coin. Um, long as hell on that, Sevilla. Sevilla, Sevilla. Um, tell me how to say it so I don't, I don't butcher it. I don't want to butcher anybody's name. Um, let's see. EOS, I'm long on. Cardano, long. Doge, um, I'm long on it for right now. Uh, Raven, oh my god, I was mining Raven five years ago, four or five years ago by the thousands when it was worth nothing. It's 18 cents. I sold them all at like less than a penny. So there's another, eh. Stellar, long on seller. V Chain, long on V Chain. Zillica, long on Zillica. Unicorn, I don't know. Same old thing. Tezos, long on Tezos. Great staking coin. Stake your Tezos. Um, Chainlink, a lot of people like it. I don't know. Vitho, that's what you get as your rewards from staking VChain. Um, so this is like, I'll trade it sometimes, but like, it's basically, I, I can't even believe it became worth something. I guess it eventually would have. But I was getting this. I had... Uh, I don't want to say how many lots of them and I just dumped them for nothing um, Litecoin long on Litecoin um, Wow is Ethereum classic at 49 freaking dollars right now God I was buying Ethereum classic at three dollars Jesus okay um, so those are pretty much what I'm long on so just to go over it again Bitcoin obviously long Ethereum long Binance coin long eh 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 
Eos, long. Storge, eh. Algo, eh. Cardano, long. Mana is the Decentraland token. I didn't say it before, but I'm long on that because that Decentraland crap is blowing up. I remember when it opened it up and they were selling plots for like cheap. I should have bought some because, but I was like, you know, like I said, everybody's like, will it or won't it? And I wasn't sure and I was wrong. I should have got in. Uh, but mana, long on that. Doge, long for right now. And honestly, with all this hype, maybe for longer. Like if Mark Cuban and Elon Musk keep hyping it, shit, let, let it run. Raven, long on Raven. Stellar, long on Stellar. V-Chain, long. Zillica, long. Unicorn or Uniswap? I have some. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to say yes or no. Cardano, long. XTZ, long. Link, it's got a lot of fans. I don't know. I don't know if I'm one of them. Tezos, long on Tezos. Amazing staking coin. Link, same crap. Vitho, that's what you get from staking V-Chain. Litecoin, long. Uh, Matic has been doing really good, but eh, I don't know. Ethereum Classic, uh, kind of long on that too. Um, I'll stick with that. Did you get them all? Do I think Doge can get to a dollar? Um, I did the math, and originally it was no. That being said, they got it to 45 cents, so hell yeah. Hell yeah, they can get it to a dollar. I think so. I didn't think so, like, when I did the math, I was like, ooh. But then it went up billions of dollars in a day, and I was like, oh, shit. I guess it can. So, yes, 100%, I think, I think Doge can get to a dollar. Um, yeah, so yeah, um, should you sell it uh, at a profit and then rebuy in on a low? Yes, not financial advice, but yes, um, I've bought and sold and I'm not talking about the OG buy and sold. I don't want to talk about that because I'd be a multimillionaire. Um, but for right now, yeah, I would, I would go into your, um, I would go into your charting software and kind of buy and sell doge i don't think it's it's not the same as like holding on to amc waiting for the squeeze like that's just and then i'll tell you when when elon musk goes on the the quote unquote doge father oh, he is such the man when he goes on snl i'll bet you when is that is that the eighth is that gonna when, when is that um today's monday so i think that's this saturday so i think this week we're gonna see doge go crazy and then maybe monday as well it really depends on what happens um if he starts talking about it like if elon musk mentions doge once on saturday night live i don't know i think we're gonna have a blast on monday so yes definitely long on that um but so anyway to answer your question i do think we can get to a dollar but i think you should be locking in profits along the way so if you're in at 30 um all right, let's go. Let's do this the way it's supposed to be done. Where are you, Doge? And I'm doing Doge off of Binance.us. Um, you're in Europe, Mo, so I would probably um, use regular Binance. Um, if if you're not signed up for there, let me know. I don't even have a Binance link. Um, you know what? Don't even worry about it. I was going to say use my referral, but i i don't have one anymore like i'm still on binance i have an account but they kicked me off because i'm american um all right so we got some more questions from mo do we let go of any true fundamentals on the small cap alt altcoins and simply go with conviction yes um well not all of the altcoins a lot of the altcoins you need a use case for dogecoin consider a gamestop amc situation like, is it supposed to be that much? No, not 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 any way in hell is it supposed to be that much. Are people pumping the hell out of it? And do you want to get in on this? Yes. I wonder if he can legally mention Doge on SNL. Um, I don't think Elon Musk gives a shit. You saw him smoke weed on uh, Joe Rogan. So I don't really think he cares because at the end of the day, any fines he gets slapped with is freaking pennies. He'll be like, oh, $2 million fine. Yeah, I'll find that in my freaking couch. He could find that in the sides of his Tesla, whatever he's driving. Um, so I think he can. Um, I mean, if you can use it on Twitter, I, I they mention it on television all the time. So, yeah, I think he can. He could definitely legally mention Doge. There's no reason that he wouldn't be able to. He's got a stake in it. He doesn't own it. Nobody owns it, you know. Oh, no, you know, somebody might, actually. I think it is centralized. Um, cause it was a meme coin. Like nobody thought, 
I, it was always a joke. Um, I remember when I was using faucets, I was getting those joints at like 20 or 30 doge at a time. Now you can't, you like faucets are a thing of the past. There was faucets in 2012 that were giving you two or three Bitcoin for free every like five minutes. So it just goes to show you crypto is uh, so resilient and there were so many opportunities to get in at nothing. And there's so many millionaires being made. The only um, thing that I caution everyone about is that we are going to see a crash. Everything is going to crash at some point. We are still in a bubble. Our housing market is in a bubble. Our stock market is in a bubble. Our crypto market is in a bubble. I mean, but it's still blowing up and it's going to be blowing up for months. Um, but when it pops, people are going to be hurting. So keep an eye out. You know, keep watching people that know what they're talking about. Watch as many people as you can. And then, of course, you know, always do your due diligence. Find out who's got the best track records. Um, but there will be an eventual crash. Um, so we'll see. We'll, we'll see when that happens. That being said, uh, hold on. Wish I had a couch like that. Wish I had a couch like that. Wait, did I mention a couch? I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. Um, oh, the couch. Oh, oh, yeah. What's his name's couch? Yeah, me too. I think you got to be Elon Musk, though, to have that couch. So this is the question. At what point do we move everything to fiat? Um, okay, so there's not going to be one single point. Um, you're going to want to rinse and repeat. Um, so what I would say, let, where's Doge? Uh, we'll go to USD. Okay. Um, oh, wow. So this has a lot of room to move up. Okay, so I'm going to go to a daily, right? And now the issue, the only issue with, um, with Doge right now and fundamentals is that it's not following fundamentals. But we can look at the technical analysis. But the problem is that it's not including, um, it's not including the, um, you know, the, the actual um, sentiment. Um, if there was a sentiment, I think there is a sentiment indicator. I might try to find that. Um, so here's your daily on Doge. Um, but just look. Uh, let's see. Wow, what is that? That doesn't make sense. What's this over here? What the hell is this? Is this when there was only one Doge coin? A thousand and ten? That is... That's a bunch of crap. I, I don't. This is why Trading View is pissing me off because they're just giving me weird information. I don't even know. Um, all right. So at what point? There's not going to be any single point, Mo. Um, it's going to be. Oh shit. Uh, hold on one second. Let me just. What is going on? Where is? All right. So I went too far. Is my problem. All right. Good. Um, let me get more into the screen. All right. So you see, this is like probably around the time that the hype started. You could see that we were actually, no, cause I bought it two cents my, this new time around. So I honestly, I don't even remember when. So, all right. So you're going to look at a daily. This is, this, this is my, my, um, what I'm going to do. I'll say that. Right. Oh, wait, hold on. Broken the 40 cent barrier. Saw or earlier there was a 63 million cell wall at bang on 40. Oh yeah, um, I'm gonna get into that because I've been seeing. We wanna we wanna see the people that are that are buying and selling that stuff. Um, I have to find um, the uh, correct site that'll tell you the large, because because you gotta realize like at this point, I have. I mean, it's just, I got so many sites that I can't even keep them all. And then here's crypto. And then there's like subcategories of crypto, blah, 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 blah. Um, I have to find it. But yeah, someone's selling off tons. And it was about last week. They sold off hundreds of millions of Doge and then they bought back in. Um, I need to find that site again and then show it to you. Uh, that being said, I will do it um, at some point. I just, I'd have to go look through 
pages and pages of notes and possibly even some videos uh, to find it. Um, I didn't, let's see, you know what? Let's take a look. Uh, volume dot, oh, is it, t you know what? Let's do it now. Let's do it now. Uh, I think it's T8. I, I write down all the stuff and now I have like, oh, is it whale? No, not whale trades, token sniffer, what's that? Let me go see what some of these are. So I'm looking at token sniffer right now. Is this the one? Safer from exit scams. Okay. Elon. Oh, wow. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is it. Um, I want to see all. Oh, which one is it? Which one is it? Uh, dex.guru, poopcoin.app. What the fuck is that? Okay. Sorry for cursing. Uh, it is what it is. Poop. That's stupid. That's a stupid name. Dot app. I don't even know what that is. This might be it. One of these shows you... I could probably just go to the Dogecoin Explorer, tell you the truth. All right. That didn't that didn't do anything for me. Okay, so Dogecoin largest largest wallets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred riches Doge bid info charts. Maybe this is something. Um. Okay, here we go. First in, last in, number of ins. It's not, where's the buys and sells? Number of ins, number of outs. So I guess this is the buys. Um, does it tell us which one's Elon Musk's? I know the other one did. All right. I've just 27%. Oh, that was in February. I'm not gonna bother with that. And let me go back to that. Um, not token sniffer. T A S K. T A S K. Dot com. I think that was the one, right? That was the one that said Elon's. Want to see what what Elon's doing? Um. So here's your uh, top addresses, or here's your breakdown of the addresses, and then here's your top ones. So this dude owns 28% of all coins. So you definitely want to keep an eye on that dude. I'm assuming that's the developer. Um, wow, look at all these buys. So this one sold, what is this? 1,000, 320 million Doge. Okay. Sold a lot of Doge. So buying, buying. He only bought 388. That's crazy. <laughs> but sold uh, 100 million. But bought 388 back. Okay, that's good. Uh, so this guy has way more ins than outs. And this is the number one. Um, it looks like a lot of people are buying this up. So people know something we don't know. Um, let me go back and see if I could find that. What is this? This is not what I... Hold on. Let me. Um, T A S K dot com. Rate your stocks in crypto. I just want to. I've seen DD saying that six to 14 million coins are minted each day on Doge. Yeah, well, that's why I didn't think it can get to a penny, is because they have like an everlasting supply. Uh, new low for GME at 163.10. Uh, uh, we are selling off right now on GME. Uh, selling off right now on GME. So I want to keep going on with this. Come on, man. Let me search. I can't search anymore. Hmm. Okay. Okay. What else did I look at? I looked at token sniffer. Let's see what sniffer. 
dot kazam. What's happening? GameStop down 5% on the day. All right. Whatever. Oh, let's look at Elon. Ether scan. So this should show. Wow. What is this number? Is this five? Wait, so, th so thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions, billions trillion so there's a trillion doge i believe that's a trillion yeah um crap eight days uniswap what's he doing v2 router okay eight days and nights so he did a lot this is just one this is elon right hmm 18 decimals are these his buys and sells? All right, I'm gonna have to find a different website. I am not prepared. I thought it was positive news for GameStop today, advising they had acquired a new facility for online replenishment. No idea why it's tanking now. You wanna know why it's tanking now? Because of these frickin' short sellers. That's why it's tanking. They are attacking, they're not attacking GameStop and AMC alone anymore. They're attacking good companies across the board i feel like they're they're like bull trapping people in with fundamentals so you'll look up the fundamentals and be like oh and then the good news they're shorting good news i've been watching it they're shorting good news so yeah every time good so that that makes perfect sense so i thought it was positive news every time there's good news there's a little pop, and then it just gets shorted into frickin' oblivion. Um, I really wish I was on GameStop already. So GameStop just got the crap kicked out of it. Oof. Oh, and it just double bottomed. Nope, it did not. It's right under. Please don't break down. But that being said, we're long-term on these, so the day-to-day... -day is whatever. Um, where did you end up selling at, Mo? I'm just wondering. Um, but yeah, like, there's an everlasting supply of Doge. Um, but that being said, if Mark Cuban and Elon decided to buy it all, they could buy it all in two buys. Um, and I honestly, I feel like they're going to. Like, these dudes, I don't know why, but they decided that it has value and they want to be part of it and they want to put their name on it. So that's what it is. And I'm fine with it. Um, I wish they'd have done it when I had millions of them, but that's okay. Elon Musk was, you know, wasn't really as nobody was talking about him. No, Mark Cuban. I don't even think joined shark tank when I had that stuff yet. He might've, I might be off. I, um, sometimes my, uh, long-term memory isn't the best. HCMC, oh, come on with you. HCMC at 0 0.0026 right now, 0 0.0027, going back and forth. Um, I'm just bringing my positions up on my iPad so I can see them. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that, that, I can, I already told you, but that, that's why it's tanking. They're, they're shorting it. Um, let's take a look. Let's, you know what? Let's take a look and see if we could find some short ladders. I'll bet you they're there. I'll put money on it. Really, GameStop's not in my freaking watch list? It was the only thing on my watch list for a while. All right, whatever. Stocks. I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. All right, GameStop. So let's see. Um... I don't really see any sell ladders, actually. So is this just a bunch of weak-ass paper hands? It's possible. Or people taking profits. There's nothing wrong with it, man. Nothing wrong with taking profits. You're either in it or you're not. We can't hate on people. The only people that I will hate on are the people that are actively shorting the stuff that I'm in. And, like, you're doing what you feel it. Whoa. Selling it. <laughs> that dude was selling at 68000 <laughs> Was that like a, um, imagine if that came true and it went to 68,000 and I have five shares. That'd be gold for me, bro. Um, yeah, but it is, uh, yeah, I don't really see 
short ladders. These are just regular cells, I feel like. Normally, you'd see like 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. I don't see it. Um, this is just a regular sell-off, I think. But look, like, until we get a full bar to open above this 15, it's just going to keep going down. Did it get halted? I mean, it might have. 173 to 162. That's not 10%, though. Um, I'm going to pull this up. For some reason, it doesn't tell me if it's halted on my um, desktop. It, it will tell me on my phone, though. Uh, GME. Yes, I know it's in all my watch lists. Nope, not suspended. Not suspended. Okay. Uh, yeah, people are just selling off. I think that they're afraid. Um, but yeah, whenever there's good news, bro, as of right now with the market where it's at, look at this how oversold we are. I mean, we can only go up. We can go down. Like, And this is like completely in line with what's happening here. Um, so there's no bullish divergence. Uh, looks like we're going to come back up, I think. Yeah, we have to. Let me go to trading view. I want to turn off. No. Cancel. All right, here we go. Let me turn off this. 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 I'm going to make my own trend lines. They seem to work better than the auto ones for whatever reason. Although a robot should be outdrawing me. But they're not. Um, looks like I got some legacies in there. Let's just get rid of the VPVR. That's distracting. Alright. So. GameStop. Oh, this must have been a channel that we were riding in. Alright. So GameStop. One minute. Uh, let's see what we're dealing with um but yeah uh people are shorting good news that that's what's happening why i don't know i guess to be counterintuitive to scare people i i don't know retail investors it's like so the hedge funds have jumped on the side of some retail of the long retail investors and some Retail investors have jumped on the side of short hedge funds. And it just broke that. That sucks. So we have legacy, a legacy trend line to break through right now. Um, I don't even know what the point of me drawing these will be. Oh, actually, this will actually give us some resistance. This will give us something to break through. Um, and that's the best I can do with that. I really don't want to draw a lower one and it'll depress me. Alright, let's go to there. Oh, that's a falling wedge. Oh, we need more touch points. That's the start of a falling wedge. So hopefully around here. Hold on, let me just. Oh, let me make a guess. I'm going to say there. I'm just going to leave that right there, see what happens. It could be wrong. Um, let me see, did I miss anything? Okay, so GME is making serious moves to make changes to the way it does business. Wondering if the announcement of a new high-profile CEO will pump it back up. Um, honestly, um, I don't think so because good news is not working for us. I think we have to just keep our conviction in the stock you know as long as it's still being um as long as it's still part of a movement all right let me just put that back the way it was as long as it's still part of a movement um we still have a chance now if it broke under 100 or if it if it broke to any of these areas i'd start getting concerned as long as we stay above this 135 this 130 to 135 or 132 to 135 i feel good um, it'll be hard if we start breaking these. You could see these are all. Oh, if we break this, I don't know. It might not be possible if we break if we break down below here. 
Oh, Super Chen has changed directions. I love when uh, my alerts tell me that it changed directions, but I didn't set it to tell me which direction it's changing to, and then I gotta go check. Stupid. Stupid me. Um, who was that? AMC? So AMC was going down, so I'm gonna assume... Oh, when did I... I didn't draw that today. I didn't draw this today. I don't know when I drew it. I didn't... That's the first... The first trend line I just drew was on GameStop. So just look. Look at these things, man. I can't believe they still work. Look at that. Boom. Resistance. Boom. Broke through it. Resistance. Came back up. Support. Boom. Broke through. Came back up. Stopped at resistance. Boom. Break through. Came back. Oh, and it broke through the trend line support. All right. Well, they both seem to work in tandem, whether they're getting wrecked or going up. Um, all right. Ugh, I don't want to draw any trend lines with this. I'm going to, though, because I'm a freaking lunatic. All right. Um, not liking that. Consolidating, then going down. Hmm, I don't like this at all. That being said, let me just keep an eye on the one that I'm trying to get the hell out of. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, well, good thing I didn't buy in the 290s. I'm about to pump like 30 grand into that just to get the hell out of it. Um, I don't like these. Where the hell did I... All right, where's the dot? I want to move it. There we go. No! Keep going. All right, I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> oh, and it broke right through it. Okay, whatever. I'm leaving this. All right, I'll leave it right there. We don't know what, what's going on. AMC has... Uh... Damn. All right. It's a sell-off. I'll tell you right now, though, the um, AMC and GameStop seem to do the opposite of what the broader market does. Any particular reason for the HCMC rise today? Still holding 100K at 0.045. Um, I think because people are starting to get wind of their... So, they... Um, when when, the, when uh, Philip Morris did the motion to dismiss, um, HCMC came back and said, basically... I mean, I'm, I I don't, you know, I saw the papers once like a week or two ago. HCMC came back and was basically like, you're you're arguing in the wrong place. Um, you're they basically said they were like children. They're like, you argue like a child. Um, your crap has um, combustion. Stop acting like it doesn't. You stole our patent and you're just you're, you're fighting. They were like fighting in like the beginning stages of the court case. And they were in like the exploratory um situation babe are you around what's it called Disco discovery they're still in discovery so they're still learning um you know about the case like they haven't even the ju judge hasn't even started trying the case so honestly go to trial or settle um and what i hope hcmc does is puts a uh, cease and desist order on them selling the iqos so that they're forced to sell and then they get a monstrous settlement with a um what do you call it a royalty that's what i would do um i'd be like you just keep doing what you do because you're philip morris and you're a monster company i want you know 50 percent or 20 percent of all sales of the iqos because that had made eight billion last year so um so it, and any particular reason it's because sentiment is going up and people are starting to notice it um, as soon as it started moving, so why HCMC was sitting at 0 .001 and not doing crap, nobody cared. So as soon as we bumped up to like 0 .0, you know, 1, 2, 1, 3, people start noticing. 0 .1415, 1, noticing. We broke 0 .002, then we really got noticing. And then people are starting to mention it again. And then God forbid uh, Wall Street Bets gets behind it, that would be so golden. Um, but yeah. So the reason I'll tell you right now, if you look at stock twits. Oh, did you? All right. Yes. Oh, I'll tell you the settings, uh, Sevilla. 
And tell me if I'm saying that name right. Is it Sevilla or Sevilla? But yeah, I'll show you the settings. That's not a problem. Um, look at these. It, I can't. My computer can't even keep up with the posts. Like stock twits just keeps freezing because I'm on HCMC, and there's eighty-seven thousand people watching it. I was looking at another. Yeah, eighty-eight by the end of the day. See. Uh, yeah, exit the page. I said, and then redo it. So that's why people are people are noticing HCMC and they're starting to look into it and they're seeing that they got a good chance of doing well with that case. So people are starting to realize that there's money to be made here. Um, that's why. And everybody that came in in the beginning, um, kind of did what they <laughs> PM HCMC. Just saying. Oh, it's a Nike swoosh. I'm not sure what they mean by that, but and why is it not? It should be real time. Sold the last of this and dropped in under blah blah blah. Get over there before no. Uh, whatever. I'm in now for 30 million shares. This dude's gonna be rich. Okay, so that's good. Not financial advice. Um. All right, so. So Sevilla's here. Give me a second. Sevilla, Sevilla. Give me a second. And this is why. Go over. Oh, Mo, go over to, uh, before I get into the three commas thing real quick for Sevilla, go over to StockTwits, put in HCMC, and see how many people. Look at this. It, it's it's literally um, freezing my computer. It's freezing it. So that's why. It's sentiment. It's all sentiment. People are starting to realize it just took a while. That's a good thing we were buying, you know, lower. Um, I know you're in at point oh four five, but it's gonna it's gonna come back. Uh, oh, look at that breaking back on the trend line. Okay, so let me go to my commas. Just give me a second to pull it up. Everything is slow right now. Let me see if my is my stream good. Oh, yeah. All right, my stream's good. That's all that matters. Okay, so. Um, let me just pull up a bot because they're all the same. Um, it's the same settings for all of them. And you could, like, mix and match whatever, but this is the same settings. Um, and I got this from another um, YouTuber um, who's, like, really good second let's see no okay so i'm gonna bring up i just want to bring up one of them with the settings and then i'll show you what it is just give me a minute i got you sevilla i got you just give me a second my computer is slow as balls right now okay so um i'll just pull over the whole thing i guess all right, let me just put three commas up. Screw it. Oh, you know what? Before I do that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Even though it's already recorded, so whatever. <laughs> I guess that was stupid. Who cares? Okay, so um, this is basically all the bots. Stop. All the bots are the same. Sevilla, are you still there? Tell me that you're still there, and then we're going to go over this. Sevilla, I need you to... As soon as you say that you're still here, we're going to go over the settings. I just want to make sure you're still here. Damn, everything is slow. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so Sevilla's here. All right, so honestly, so we're going to start with your name. So how I name it, so I'm going to go through the whole thing, right? So how I name it is whatever the pair is, and then I'll put a one or a two, which means that I'm getting paid in either a ETC, so this is Ethereum Classic, and this is Tether. 
Um, I would use strictly Tether, although I do use USD and BTC as well. I would start out with, with just Tether um, or USD um, to trade. Because if you have Bitcoin in there, then you're dealing with two different things that are constantly going up and down and it might screw you up. Tether is pretty much going to stay in the same area. So one thing's basically solid while the other one goes up and then it'll just work like that. The bots are all simple bots. So they're just trading one base pair. Um, so every morning I use Binance.us. I, I put them all into my trading view and I check it every morning and I see which ones are popping. And if they're popping and I have a bot for them, I turn it on. If not, um, the way this is set up, you should be able to leave it on regardless, but I'm extra, um, careful about it. So if I see something's like falling a little bit, I'll get out of it. Even though the way this is set up, you should be straight regardless. Okay. So that being said. So I put a two because this gets paid off in Tether. So that's how I name it. Simple bot. Okay. Binance US. Boom. Pick your pair. You could pick anything that they sell. Boom. Long strategy. You want to quote in whatever it is that you're trying to get. Some people want whatever their base is. I want it back in Tether on this one. So what I'll do is, is I'll make two of the bots. I'll make an ETC USDT one and then a two. So one will be paying me in classic, one will be paying me in tether. So either way, I'm getting back both. But I don't want to lose my tether for Ethereum classic or the other way around. So I want to get both. So you want to basically copy a bot. It's just pressing copy and then, you know, changing a few things in there. And then so you want a one and a two. Okay, that being said, any questions, just go ahead and throw them in there as I'm talking. I'll randomly look over to the right. Okay, so long strategy. I want my quote, my profit back in Tether because I want to make sure I got the Tether. I start out with a $10 buy. Super, super, super conservative. Okay, very super conservative. This is people with small accounts can do this. I have, I don't know, not enough in my account. Uh, maybe almost 10, something like that. A uh, thousand. So $10 base order size, $20 safety order size. Okay. So you're doubling up. Why do we do this? So if it drops and you have to do a safety order or a dollar cost averaging order, your dollar cost averaging more into your lower price, right? So it's bringing your base price down that much further by double. So if you just did 10, you would come back down half of what you would do if your safety orders in 20 are you sticking with me. All right, cool. So your safety orders are at $20. Your starting order is $10 because we're not looking for a lot of money off of these trades. We're looking to get in and get the hell out immediately because this does not have a stop loss. Not none of this is financial advice. This is just what I do. You do what you want to do. This is what I do. My take profit is small as hell, 1.5%. So these are 10 cent, 15 cents wins, right? But there's 20 or 30 of them in a row, okay? Because if it goes the wrong way, it's going to take longer to do the trade. So if I set this for 10%, it's going to take four times the amount, a little bit more. What is, yeah, four and a half times the amount to, um, to, get, to, to get out of the trade. So I want out of the trade immediately and I want it to start a new trade. This just leave the same percentage from total volume. Don't touch this. Doesn't matter. Um, wait, do I want that? Some of these are on and some of these are off. I wasn't taught to have this on, so I'll just leave it off. Um, you know what though? Leave it on. Why not? This is just about your profits. So it's taking profit deviations, not stop loss. So, if you want to throw that on, you can. If not, it's fine. I throw it on just because if it keeps running, you'll get a few more pennies. Fine. So that's good. Stop loss. I don't put it on. That's like a great way to lose money um, because they just they have such violent moves. Max safety trades counts 30. OK, 30 safety trades. Will it ever go to 30? I doubt it. But you want to have that ability that if you're not watching and it takes a dump that you keep averaging down because every time you average down, hold on. 
No, get in there. Every time you average down, so just to give you an example, continue. Um, so let's just say I want to get out of here. I want because I just want to show a lie, right? So this is what we're doing. We're we're here. Whatever. Every time I average, so every time it drops that amount, the 1.5 percent goes down lower. So when there's a retrace, you're that much further down. If I do another dollar cost averaging, my 1.5 percent's lower. My 1.5 percent's lower. So when, so I'm following it all the way down, and once it bumps back up just a little bit, I'm out of the trade. Boom, I've locked in those profits. And here's the other thing. If you get a lot of safety orders, you're going to get that much more profit. So think about it that way as well. And do not overextend yourself. Do not overextend yourself. Okay? All right. So that's that. So 30 safety orders, max active safety trade count, one. Price deviation uh, to open safety orders from initial, 2%. 2%. Safety order volume scale, 1.05%. Now, why is that? Now, your safety orders are set at $20, but they're going to go up by 5% every time. What is this going to do? This is going to help you increase the amount in your dollar cost averaging, which is going to lower your price even more. Okay? And that's it. That is literally it. Now, let's... Um, shit, I'll show you. Let's look at the history. Okay, I've only been running... No, let me go back to my deals. I've only been running this since the 16th, and I accidentally don't use their bots without changing their settings. So I used one of their bots uh, without their setting, or with their settings, and I closed it because it was $100. So I was actually at $600 profit. All None of my bots that I set the way that I just showed you have lost, not one. Not one, not once, since the 16th. And that should be... Is it going to show me... I want to see the overall stats. So here's what's happening. 17 cents, 15 cents, 15 cents, 16 cents, 38 cents, 38 cents, 6 cents. Six cents, 42 cents, blah, 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 blah. Thanks, Night Trader. Do you use this for all coins? Um, I use it for all small coins. Um, I don't, I, I do have an, um, one Bitcoin UST DT, but I turn it on and off because like I said, I don't have a stop loss. So if that decided to go to 30,000, I'd be in a real trouble. So I do it with small coins, Doge. Um, I'll even show you. Ethereum. Um, I don't even like doing Ethereum. It's too expensive, but it was on a tear, so I made one, and I'll turn it off once it goes down a little bit. The rest of them you could literally leave on. You know what I'm saying? Um, Doge, obviously. Litecoin. Even Litecoin's a little expensive. I turn it on and off. Zilliqa. Just leave it on. Whatever. That thing's 20 cents. Um, so I'm using that. Storage. This is actually what my... Um, what their composite so i used one of their pre-made bots and it lost me 100 bucks i never use it again only my settings I'll, I'll only use my settings um but i don't even know the story behind this but this this is good for just day trading do i believe in it i, I don't even know what the hell it is i gotta be honest i saw it was up one day i added it uh litecoin ethereum i don't recommend using those bigger ones now bnb is a little large for me to put in the bot but if you use BNB to pay your fees on Binance, you get a 25% savings. So I have a BNB USD2. So this pays me back in USDT. I have a BNB. Where is it? All right. I don't know where it is, but I have a BNB USDT1 as well. So that's bringing me back Binance coin when I win. So that's helping with my fees. So that's the smart thing. To, so that's why I have Binance coin, even though it's a little bit expensive. For my tastes in the bot, it I want to get more of it because it pays for my fees and gives me 25% off. So there's another little hack right there. Bam. Um, but here's the ones I have on right now. Oh, here. 
Oh, so I have a BTC one too. And now, like I said, I, I don't recommend doing BTC pairing. I did it because I had six grand in B Bitcoin on there and I didn't want it to do nothing. So I have some BTC pairs. But as you can see, it's mostly USD and USDT. There will be random Bitcoin ones, um, but it's mostly USDT and that's what I mostly do. None of it financial advice. Do what you got to do. Those are the settings. Um, do you have any other questions about the settings, Sevilla? Sevilla, Sevilla. I want to say Sevilla because of your last name. I feel like that's right. Um, but those are the settings. This is from the 16th. Um, why doesn't it show me now on my app? And it has an app too, which is awesome, bro. Um, the app is awesome. Um, and it shows me my like actual, like it shows me an actual graph of everything. But here, so I started on the 16th, August 16th. It's the third. So what is that? 14, 15, 16, 17 days. Is there a 31 in August? Hold on. Nope. So one, two, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 days. So it's made $500 in 18 days. No, it's all good. Thanks. I'll be back to update. All right, brother, please like and subscribe. And I'm happy for you coming. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, we'll rock and roll. But this is how I've automated. Now everyone that's on here has seen how I've automated my crypto trading. I do not trade crypto um, by like on like by myself anymore or on my own i let the bot do it i found settings that are perfect um in this market don't i check it constantly i check what's hot on binance and i check the bot constantly um but the way that it's set up it should never lose like it would have to go down 60 if it goes past 60 percent, you're screwed um, is that going to happen? Not in a day. And you'll have plenty of time to get the hell out. So, and my other, uh, not advice, but suggestion, or the other thing that I do is to not put any garbage coins on here. Like, you know, if I don't, I want to say like safe moon and all that other crap that they're pushing, like garbage. Um, don't put garbage on there. Everything in here is quality. I mean, I don't know what the hell this is, but it's at 40 bucks or something. So there's something to it. Um, Ethereum, Binance coin, Zillica, all winners, Doge winners. So that, that, that's, you know, that's what I'm saying. All right. So that's that. Thank you, sir. We're going to go ahead and move this. All right. Any other questions? Does anybody else have any other questions? And if you're in the chat right now, please say hi. Please say what's up. Ask me anything. Anything you want. Um, here's Etherscan. I guess I'll save it in my crypto area. Uh, token sniffer. I don't know. Like I said, the bot's doing my crypto stuff. Um, I... If you have questions, we'll go over it. Outside of that, I'm going to stick to the market while it's open. This is 24-7, 24-7, 365, so we can deal with crypto whenever. I only got five days during the week to deal with um, stocks. So I'm actually going to throw this over here. You know what? I got too much crap open. Yeah, leave. So I exited that. I'm going to close my bot because I don't need to watch it. Let's see where it's at. Let's see what it did today. Um, but I want to close some stuff down. Yeah, so there you go. So it starts at 8 o'clock. It's made $26 today, and I'm at 501. I have 29 active deals right now. Um, I started out with 5, and I slowly moved my way up. All right, so let me just get that out of there. I'm going to exit out of that. I got too much stuff running, uh, but we do have a good connection. 
Um, all right. So AMC making a little bit of a bounce. I'm seeing a, I don't want to say the George part. We know who I'm talking about. I'm seeing a W pattern. A George W. A George W. You know what it is. You know what it is. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> all right. So this baby looks like it's coming back. The only problem with this I'm seeing is that this looks like a rising wedge and rising wedges are a bearish pattern. So what I mean by that. Oh, is it a rising wedge? Uh, you know what? It's not rising. It's not rising. This might be consolidating. That being said, it's still bearish. So I hate to say it. Ugh, I hate to say it. I don't want to say it, but I think I think we're going to see something like this. Just going to leave that there. I think I, I hope not, but I think um, anybody have any questions? Anybody got anything they want to go over? Anybody here just want to say hi? Because um, if not, I'm going to take another break. Um, there's I mean, a lot to go over, but I'm. Like, you know what? Okay, so let me... I completely um, just didn't do anything with my uh, pixie that I'm trying to get the hell out of. All right, so where are we? So I'm trying to get out of pixie. So this is actually... I guess this is a good lesson. So, um, all right. So you got into a stock. You are way overextended, and you shouldn't have got into it. It was a momentum play. It went back, It went sideways on you. And I don't mean it consolidated. I mean it went the wrong direction. It, it it screwed up. So I am in Pixie. So here's a great example of my mess up. And it's good for me to do. So then it shows you not to do crap like that. Let me tell you right now. Just don't even bother with momentum plays until you're an expert. I am not. I am a advanced Um, just under pro, I would say. I would say I'm advanced. I made, I turned 3,000 into 30-something thousand in a few months. I would say I'm advanced, just under pro. Um, so I would say I'm advanced trader. Just under, over intermediate, over intermediate, below pro. Whatever area that is. Okay? Okay. So, now, I'm looking at Pixie. I got screwed. Here's our day range, 271 to 306. Now, there's a few things I'm going to look at. First, I'm going to look at Motive Wave. Now, Motive Wave, oh crap. Motive Wave has a very cool thing called Auto Elliott Wave. Elliott Wave is something that you can take a few months, years to perfect and a few weeks to learn. But I decided that a computer is going to be able to develop, to go through the statistical probabilities better than I can. So I stopped putting the effort into learning it. Now, should I have? Yes. Am I a lazy ass? Yes. So I didn't. I stopped. Um, and I got too much to do. I got two jobs. Shit. And I do this. So um, I didn't do it. Whoa, what the hell is that? Limit 20 at 295? What the fuck? Pixie. Wait a second. All right. There's like random. I don't know what the hell that is. Give me a second to, to figure out what that is. That's not supposed to be there. I got limit. What is that? I don't know what I did. Let me check my Ameritrade. I mean, I just got rid of it. I got one sell order in, so I don't even know what the hell that is. Okay, maybe it was a suggestion. It might have been. This I'm still learning this motive wave. Um, oh, you can't see it. Crap. Sorry, guys. There. My bad. Um, any other questions? All right, no questions right now. Anybody have any questions, please leave them in the chat. Um, we did drop down a few viewers. That's okay. They came in. They got what they needed. Um, 
just go ahead and throw any of those questions in the chat. Okay, so. Um, Motive Wave is telling me on the Auto Elliot Wave that we're going to see this at 267. So, let's switch to a little bit higher of a time frame. No. All right, so I'm not liking anything I'm seeing on this. And I've been noticing that this thing is real reliable. So that's my, a problem. Because this is telling me that the Elliott wave is giving me a strong statistical probability that we are going down here and then to here. Um, none of this happens, so I guess this is a bunch of crap. Um, all right, so, and we'll do some Elliott Wave videos later, but like I said, I, I didn't really become an expert at it because I decided that a computer would be better suited to, um, to do it for me. All right, what is this? I don't want that. I want to get, yeah, my order book isn't working in this, so I actually sent them support a question and I haven't heard anything back. Um, so at least we can uh, look at the DOM. So that's showing you, like, if I sold here, I'd be down, blah, 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 blah. And I actually want to see the... So this just shows you, like, the, the volume in those areas. So not a lot of volume down here. So it looks like they feel 271 is the lowest at the moment. Um, I don't like that. Uh, but that being said, it could be wrong. Like, it didn't go up here. I don't know what this is. This is impulse. Should I just... I'm just going to do this. I don't remember um, what that is. I'm going to get rid of it. Bye. Delete. This wave contains one or more child waves. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Child waves, so what they mean is on a um, on an ABC up or an ABC down. So it's usually three waves up, three waves down, and then there's five subways in the beginning. So I guess they're calling subwaves child waves. Um, I'm not going to get into it too much right now because, like I said, I decided that a computer would be better suited. Um, I would just need to get take a, a real quick look at a refresher of Elliott Wave, and then I could explain it at least to where I knew I sounded like I knew what I was talking about, but I'm not going to, um, to get into the specifics of Elliott wave right now. Um, I need to get a refresher on it, but I do know that where, when it, when you have Elliott wave giving you statistical probabilities, they are highly probable that they will go that direction. So we are in a three. So one, there should be a one, one, two, three. So this is going down. Now, this has a sub of a three. Um, and then there's your ABCs, A, B, C. Okay. Um, but like I said, I don't want to explain it too much because I, I am not an expert in this and I, I do have to look at a refresher. That being said, this thing has been dead on since I started using it, I'll probably buy the service for this one thing. And honestly, I'd pay that just to put it into my trading view. So this is saying that we're going to go down to at least 267. Now, let's look at 267. We don't even have orders in it for it yet. Um, I don't see any. Nope, 269 is the highest or the lowest right now oh I got a Wall Street alert a recent acquisition and major licensing agreement could put this stock on track to dominate the trillion dollar mining industry get the full story here okay let's see what it says it's on my phone and I'm I didn't set up my phone to go on the video so I'll read it to you and you could set up for Wall Street alerts, too. Uh, if anybody has any questions about that, put it in the comments. If not, then I'll just read it to you. 
Oh, this is another one about TMASF. So take a look at TMASF. Uh, they keep saying that it's got all this pro this um, promise. So, oh, before I do that, let me just look at Motive Wave. Motive Wave is telling me... Two sixty-seven. Um, let's update it. It changes. Let's update it on the fifteen. Oh, what's this? Really? A B wave up? To? It's usually like right under. Wait, hold on. Look, look at the other ones. Yeah, it's usually like right under. To like right there where I set a cell at. All right. Well, maybe I can get out of this piece of crap today. That'd be great. Um, do I want to average down yet? No. Let me go back to the minute. We still have these. Oh, it's in a rising wedge, so it's gonna fall. I mean, that's just what happens like ninety something percent of the time. So we're probably gonna see two sixty eight, two sixty seven, somewhere in that area. Um, so let's just say we see high end 269, right? Okay, so I'm going to go back to what the hell I was talking about. And I want to make a horizontal line at 269. Oh, we're like almost there. And I'm going to change it to red. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what those other ones were about. Probably some sort of legacy support. Oh, yeah, this is support and resistance. Okay. All right, so this is where it's saying it's going to go under, which is completely understandable. Um, honestly, I feel like we can go here, too. I bet this is 260. No, it's not. Um, can we go there? I feel like we're better off there. No. Let's just put one right there. Okay. So I'm expecting this range for an average down. So I'm at 800 shares at 323. Let's say I did another 300 at, what was it? 269. Calculate. And I know you could do this easy with a calculator, but why not just do it real, real simple. 1,100 shares at 308. Now, what if I just did 100 because I thought it might fall still? Where does that bring me? 317. Okay. That's at 269. So let's say we go to 267. I don't think it's going to be much of a move. Still 317. Okay. So 269 will bring me down to 317. Um, but will we keep falling? Let's see. I almost want to pull up something crazy. Let's do it. There's a crazy amount of... Yeah. There's a lot of, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of indicators on this. Pay no attention to all those indicators. But where's the on balance volume? Wait a second. This isn't right. Do I have an A3 current? Mm. Current temp. Hmm. A4 current. Oh my God. All right, so I got now I've lost. Yeah, trades, trades. Yep, I have um, lost sight of where it is. Okay, that's no problem. So I can actually look on just to the right. Oh no, I can't. I can look to the left. All right, on balance volume. Oh, it's going up. Okay, it's going up. Um, which I don't like because I feel like I should be averaging in here because it's a long way to 323. This is where I'm in. And honestly, I probably have to sell more like there or like here to break even because of those two accidental cells. All right. We're in at 280. Um, I want to set. Let's see. I don't know. I mean, this baby could do something. This baby could do something. A new egg shuffle begins at 1 p.m. 
If you're trying to get GPUs, that's a good way to try, but I haven't gotten picked in like a hundred times. Um, let's go back to Motive Wave. Very cool. It still says... Oh, it's added a spot. Oh, so it, it wants to go up. It wants to go to the two. But this is a five. Where's the three and the four? Two. Five. Huh. Oh, four to five. So this is part... So this is the large wave... Oh, it's moving. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at this. If it's not rejected here, that'd be great if it just went up without me having to pump another any amount of dollars into it. So where is it at? Let's see. Let's say I said screw it. Let me get some now. 319, I bet. 318. Okay. Um, I don't know. I still think we're going to come down. Let me get my MACD set up. I don't know why this does this every freaking time. I got to just pull it back out. Every <sighs> okay. Pain in my ass. Every fucking time it does this. Every time. This is TTM squeeze. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to use this, but it has been kind of... This is usually a direction change, but what did it do? It didn't really... It's becoming less and less accurate for me. This is an idea I got off of Alessio Rossani, who's like a ridiculously good trader. Um, so I use it, but it's becoming less... It's be just becoming more in the way. Um, all right. So we are rebounding. Oh, I hate those Bollinger Bands. Bye. Bye. Oh. I asked my mom a couple days what she wanted for Mother's Day. Like, four days later, she says, a beautiful card. Oh, God. Okay. I'll draw one like I'm in freaking fifth grade. All right, uh... We're getting some weird patterns here. Um, God, I mean, we just had to have some green. It was such a dump. Where were we? We were in the threes. Hmm. 281. I'm still seeing... Oh, no. Let me look to the right. Oh, I see. Whenever you see the bid and the ask at the same price, it usually is going down. That's what I've noticed on Ameritrade. Like, if the bid is 280 and the sell is 280, or the bid is 280 and the ask is 280, it's usually going down. Why? Couldn't tell you. I mean, I probably could look into it, but I didn't care enough to find out why. I just noticed it. But that's how it usually happens. A lot of pre draw, like, or a lot of, like, auto stuff on this chart. That's why I don't use it that much, but I just wanted to get into it for a second. All right, so this is coming back up, but there's a swift turn coming on the RSI. So, I mean, honestly, I'd rather just go up and so I get the hell out of it um, and not have to average down. But let's motive wave it again. So now we're getting calls for down here. 267-ish, 268. Is there anything below that? Or above it? Below, above, anything? Nope. And we're going to just update that. Oh, it's moving up. Oh, now it's 272, huh? Okay. Okay. I'm mad skeptical of this stock. Oh, and now it's turning. Uh, it just broke a trend line. So, let's see. Where's the four? The four is over here. 
So this is going to be the end of a pattern, which should then go up. Um, I might up this to 200 shares. I'm being real skeptical because this, because because of Friday, it just kept dumping on my ass. Um, and I think we're going to 269. And what did Motive Wave say? Motive Wave said we're going to 272 now. 273. Looks like, yeah, it usually touches it. Looks like it touches with the circle. Okay, so 272, 273. It's, so it's saying 273, but then possibly 266. And I don't want to have to buy this a lot. Um, but that's going to be the end of the pattern, and that should be done by... Damn, it's only noon. Oh, hold on, let me. Okay, mom, comma, whatever you want, comma, love you. If you still have your mom, treat her like gold if she's not a piece of crap. I know there's some crap moms out there because I deal with mental health, but if she's still there and she's still, you know, she's still your mother, tell her that you love her. We're losing people left and right, and it's crazy. Okay, so I'm going to go from, let me just do this again, update. Let's see if it's any different on the five minute. On the five minute? What the hell? So what, we're just going to have a crash? Where's the upside? It's supposed to go up after the five stops. Hmm. All right, this is weird. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. What about the 15? Oh, 15 has a B up here. That would be gorgeous. Get gorgeous. But that's going to go into tomorrow. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's the end of the market day. So it's saying at about one something. Oh, that'd be beautiful. What is this? I don't put this in here. I don't know what this is. Limit 10. Did I do something? What is this? All right. Motive wave is really starting to be weird. Yeah, delete that. Like, what are you talking about? All right, well, this is the larger time frame. Let's go to, let's go crazy. Do an hour. Any questions from anybody? Anybody got anything to say? Want to say hi? Want to talk about anything? You just want to watch me kind of yap to myself. All right, on the one hour. Oh, now it's saying 380. Hmm. I mean, this hits on the one minute. I know on the one minute. I haven't really tested the other ones. Oh, now it's way the hell up there. Okay. Oh, but I'm seeing... Alright, I'm seeing conflicting things. Alright, let's just say I got 100 at 279 because I'm skeptical. And I'm at what? Two, 323? That's 318. And I did see it go to 278. It's possible we can come back there. Let's do double the amount with one penny less. 314. Okay. Let's say I went at 280 where it is right now. Oh, let me look at the level two. Oh, they're trying to push this bitch up. They're trying to push this bitch up. I mean, I normally would be cool with that. But not when I'm trying to average down. So, 280, 314. Hmm. I just don't know. But it's showing strength. RSI is actually getting dangerously oversold. MACD looks like it's about to turn on itself. 
projection oscillator pointing down on balance volume staying stagnant momentum going down all right so i don't want to set a buy until i see a clear direction but this now ugh, and it keeps changing where are we 270 363. Where's the other parts? Hmm. Yeah, this is why I stopped trying to learn earlier wave. It's a pain in the ass. HCMC down to 0 0.0025. Um, AMC at 966 getting wrecked. Uh, Blackberry at 861 getting wrecked. Where am I on Blackberry? Oh, God. Thousands. Okay. Um... GameStop at 162.43. Oh, what happened to electric car something? Are they trading? Whoa, did they trade today? Hold on a second. You're just going to keep going up, huh? I don't think you are, to tell you the truth. Although, if we start getting that low, it's just going to spook people. All right, I'm going to wait on this. I probably should have just snatched some of 271 and been done with it. That's okay, though. Okay, BTC crossing down 57.8. BTC crossing down 57.9. It's up, crossing up. And here we go. So, why are we lagging? God, I'd pay money for it to not lag. All right, well, BTC on its way back up. Okay, HCMC, what's going on with you? Let's see if this mofo can stay green. Tell me about it, brother. Can't wait till after lunch. 2 p.m. should be fun. Okay. All right. Um, I just want to check one thing. Electric car. Oh, is it trading? So this piece of garbage did start trading. They have some big contracts, though. Like, why are they such garbage? Now, like, how down am I on that? Hold on. I'll tell you right now. I am $200 out of a $300 investment on ELCR. So, I don't even know. It's a piece of crap. Yeah, it didn't start trading. It stopped trading in April and then just started again today. Like, what time? It started at 11.16. Wow, that's a good time. I was, like, prepared to trade it in the morning and didn't start until like an hour ago what uh whatever honestly even it goes back to where i got it at i mean let it die let it die i'd rather let it die than pay attention to it all right hcmc stop being a bitch break back up over here that being said we're not even close to any news i don't think so i don't care um i love what it's doing um, is anybody out there? Can anybody hear me? I see that we have concurrent viewers, but nobody's saying nothing. Um, maybe I'm thinking either nobody's saying nothing or something's wrong. All right, sorry guys. I'm just checking what's going on. All right. Well, this is okay. Whatever. All right. Well, HCMC is rocking and rolling. We're under here. Oh crap! Hold on. I my own voice screws me up. Let me turn that down. Okay. So, yeah, I think we'll break back. 
I think we'll break back. We're pretty early. Lunch rush already happened, so is this was this at twelve almost exactly? Nope. All right, so the whole lunch idea was a bunch of crap. All right, so we'll just continue to monitor this. This is where I said it would go. Um, I wish I drew an arrow so I could prove it. Although, you could probably rewind. I did say that it will come here. Um, but we want to get back here. So we want to end over this today. This isn't a bad area, um, but it's fine. It's fine for right now. Um, so that's HCMC. Any other questions about it, let me know. Um, I got a lot of crap going on on this chart. Let me go back to a simpler chart. There we go. Less crap. Um, okay. Just re... All right. MACD is about to turn around on HCMC. MACD turning right here. So you're going to see one of these green dots. You're going to see one of these green dots when the red crosses over the yellow. And then this is dying cell pressure and increasing buy pressure. Same thing here. Increasing buy pressure, dying buy pressure. So same thing. This is going to turn. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. Someone decided they wanted some more tendies. I get it. Um... Whoa, what have I done? All right, let me get out of here and go back to the one I'm trying to get out of. And, of course, Pixie is going to break the 50. Here's your 50 in purple. So I probably should have realized, I probably should have paid attention. I mean, I did turn on the auto fib. Um, I probably should have paid attention to the 2.71 and knew we were coming back. Um, we're either, oh, you know what? I think we're going to bounce off the 0.5. I think we're going to break here. And bounce off the point two eight eight or the two yeah the point five I think so because VWAP is like perfectly confluent with it. Um, that being said, we could bounce off the three eight two, which is probably more likely. Um, but it now just opened a bar over the fifty, so the fifty could act as support. It really depends on if we stay over this fifty. If we consolidate over this fifty, we're going up. If we don't, we're going down. 15's working its way back up. 200's working its way down, which I don't like. Um, okay, so Pixie is kind of what it is for right now. Um, I don't want to go in at 283 to average down because I'd have to go in heavy, heavy, heavy. Let's just say I did. Oh, that's not too heavy. That's still less than a G. 312. Hmm. That's not bad. That's not bad. I don't like it this high, though. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it this high. Let's see what Motive Wave says. Motive Wave says we're going to 369. I would appreciate that motive wave. Uh, but that's on the 30 minute. What's a one minute say? Oh, look at this. See, as it moves, that this is why a computer is going to be barely better than Elliott Wave than you. Because as soon as it moves, your your numbers move. Um, this should happen. Is this going to come to fruition by 130? Hmm. I'm skeptical, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Um, this is kind of cool, though. I got to be honest. Like, it has been going to where it says. Let me update it. Watch it moves. 293. Oh. 293 doesn't do much for me. I would assume there'd be some sort of lower point after that. No? No lower point? All right, let's do it on a five and see what happens. Oh, see, that's what I was talking about. All right, I'm skeptical. I'm going to dump. I will get out of this bitch with some profit. Um, From what I'm looking at, 
I mean, this should reject. It's been taking too long to get through this, so this should reject here. I would probably... I'm, I'm aiming at 269, so I'm going to keep my numbers there. And I'm just going to do... You know what? Screw it. I'm going to... Mm. Yeah, I like that. All right. I'm going to... That's what I'm, my goal. So I'm going to go for 300. What if I did 400? I want out of this. I don't even care if it's going to a million dollars in two weeks. I want out of it now. 305 is pretty close. So if I did 400 at 269, and that'll cost me... God, it looks like it's moving up. It's going to... I'm telling you right now, though, because this is such... It's just a bunch of... Is this in the same area? All right, well, where I'm looking on... Hold on. Where's my... I can't even see it. I made the VWAP so thick that it just engulfs the 200 if it's near it. My guess is we bounce down uh, now. Now, actually. If we make it past this, then this is some sort of magical freaking creature. And I'll be happy. Then hopefully we just blast through everything and go to $100. I'm expecting this, though. Alright, I don't need this up. Bitcoin is doing it is working up. Oh, somebody just said HCMC is pumping again. Whatever, dude. I hate those. I mean, I'll probably end up doing it. I'm not going to lie, but it's just like clickbait. But it is pumping, so it's not a lie. All right. So this says that we're going down to 256 and 190 in the minute. So on a five minute. What does a one minute say? A one minute says we're going here. I love how... <sighs> okay. I love how it's all different. But let's say I went to the 15 minute. And now it's going here. A, a and B usually ends up with a C over here. I mean, that's just... I didn't even need to finish the training to know... Wait, what's this? So if that's what happens, that's what happens. But I'm seeing a lot of, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of lower numbers. It really only, like, I'm in at 323, but like I said, I did two fat finger screw-ups. Oh, Mo's back. The market is against you. It's personal. You sell up and the price will jump up. Yeah, I know. But that's why we got to use all the tools we can. And listen to all the people we can that know what they're talking about, for the most part. At least with their guesses. Hold on, I just want to see what this will cost me. So if I get another 400 at 269, it would be 1,076. And it'll bring me down to 305. Um, that's not the worst. That's not the worst. I've seen worse. See? Oh, I told you. I freaking told you it was turning here. Why does this not seem like a minute? And where's my timer? Like, it's just not working right. None of my shit is working right. And I don't understand who I got to punch in the freaking face to get the shit that I pay a whole lot of money for to work right. It's like I talk to support and honestly, like, they're like half useless. Like, all support. Almost. Motive Wave still hasn't even gotten back to me. And I emailed them like three days ago about why my um, order books weren't showing up. Because there's like an order book just like you got in Ameritrade. Or I'm sorry, Thinkorswim. 372. Oh, now there's a 372. Where the hell did that come from? Jesus. You know what? If it goes to 372, I don't have to average down. Did it break? Oh. I knew it was getting rejected off the 200. That's just what the 200 does when you're under it. It rejects your ass. All right. Well, we'll see. So I'm not going to make a buy right now because I don't trust it. I have a feeling it might just dump its ass down. I'm wondering if I should set a buy. Maybe I'll set just one 100 buy. All right. I'm going to do it on Active Trader just because... 
Here, I'll just let me let me get it in there. Wow, my right screen is starting to die. Oh, now there's more lines than there's ever been. I guess those screens are gonna have to come sooner than expected. All right, so where did I say 269? All right, I got 400 to 269. I'm gonna do 100, and oh, this won't let me set it myself. All right, I'm not doing this. This is more for like real quick get in, get out stuff. I'm just gonna do it on my phone, or I'll do it right here on my iPad. Um, 100 at 269. And if it goes below that, then, you know, shit happens, I guess. Uh, I'll leave it on day. I'll leave it on day. All right. 100 by 269. I don't want to make another fat fingered mistake like I did the last time. 81,000 I can do. I should fucking just dump. I should just dump a whole crap load of money so it's like a penny away. Then I can get the hell out of it. I really want out of it. Cause I, and here, here's the thing. Pay attention to this. Oh, wait, hold on. I got questions. Oh, yeah, yeah. The market's going against you. Um, Pay attention to this, because once I um, sell out, it'll blast off to like $50. <laughs> and I'm fine with that. As long as I sell at a profit, I don't care. I don't care what happens afterwards. I'll complain, but it's really just, you know, whining. It's something I'm trying to stop. Here's everybody talking about HCMC. Closing red on HCMC day. People praised all week, aiming at 25, really thought that $100 would jump up to 10K and nobody was going to sell a share. Just buy what you can hold on until July 30th. I don't know what that date is. Maybe something with court. Bears, bear hater be hating. The pump and dump is over. Army holding even more shares at higher prices. Blah, 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 blah. Pacer monitor. What is that? What's Pacer monitor? Is this something I want? It looks like it's something I want. So I'm just going to throw this into my resource. Pacer monitor. It's making a note. Sorry, guys. Everything I see that comes up that could be something I could use, I write it down. There's I got hundreds of them. There's stuff I haven't even checked out. All right, so, oh come on, brah. I hate when my um, iPhone turns on me, and I didn't want it. There you go. Turn back. Thank you, sir. All right. Anybody have any questions right now? I'm about to take another break. Um, it's about to be one o'clock. Oh, let's just go through. Um, unless anybody has any questions. So this is the goal right now. Let's just say, did I set that? I don't know if I set that buy. Did I set a buy? Yeah, I set a buy. So if that buy goes through, I'll be down to 317. And then I'll just kind of figure it out from there. Um, I would do 400, but I think if she keeps going down, that it's going to be that much harder for me. I'm getting to the area where like, once you go over to a certain area without a certain distance, like it's not going to mean anything. What I'm, what I mean by that is if I do this and then I get, let's say I do 400, I get to 1300 and let's just say it was 317, whatever. Um, it would take me like 700 at like 30 or 40 cents lower to, to get any movement at all. So the more shares you get, the harder it is to average down. So I really want to be careful because um, I don't want to average down and then it completely take a dump. Um, why isn't this moving? That's a one minute candle. How is a one minute candle at 1257 still at 1248? I don't get that. Like trading view. What is your problem? You suck. 12.50. Why is it? It's 8 minutes. I didn't say anything to you, Siri, you bitch. 
All right, 12.58, why? Why does it say 12.50? Why? What the hell is this? Yeah, New York, okay. Why is this like this? Stupid. All right, well, let's just look. Well, it looks like it was turning for a, a hot second. Yeah, this is really, um, this is upsetting that this is working like this. Hold on, let me. So this thing is just riding the 50 I'm looking at on my Ameritrade. Um, Pixie, you are a pixie bitch. All right, whatever. I'm just going to do this. Oh, why does it do that? Wow. So we are. Let's see. Maybe I can get a better view on Ameritrade. Oh, let's see. I'm sure Motive Wave has decided that it's either going to a dollar or to 200. Let's. What the hell is this? Oh, I did put in that in. I did put that in. Um, but those have been showing up randomly. Yeah, all right. So this is what it's supposed to say. So I did put that in. Okay. This attaches to your Ameritrade, by the way. It's pretty cool. I could probably do that with Trading View, but Trading View is being a bitch. Um, I don't think so. Let's go back to the one minute. Let's just update this. Watch. No, not a movement. Any movement down the line, people? Is there any... No, nope, not going to show me nothing. How far do I have to go? If this is a B, where's the C? Is it up? Is it down? I mean, it's, this is, this is, wait, A. Ugh, these are all different. A, B. So, all right. So I'm noticing finally this pattern. I really got to learn how to use this. So, four five and then a b c correction but this is all sideways okay whatever um still says we're going up to b i don't know that's a one minute so this changes from red to blue there we go um let's auto elliot wave this Update. Oh, God. What is this? What is this? I don't. Why does random crap keep showing up? And what's T and D? TD Ameritrade? I don't know what T means or D. Limit 10 at 246. Why would I buy 10 shares? Okay, I don't know. Is it auto buying? Like, I don't even get this. That's starting to be annoying, though. Oh, limit at 269. If it ends up going there and I erase it, I'm going to be pissing myself. All right, well, I mean, this shows stochastics on its way up, RSI is on its way down. Okay. Those should probably match a little better, but not a problem. Uh, MACD. Crossing back up. Okay. MACD crossing back up. And I forgot what this was. WBDTI. It's volume base, isn't it? WBDTI. I forgot. Oh, man. I forgot why I put that on there. William Blau. That's right. Directional trend index. Directional trend index. Okay, great. All right, I just forgot what it was because there's so many studies. I, I'd like never even seen half of these names. Um, cool. Okay. So we're still just kind of seeing what's going to happen with Shift Pixie. I will be out of this, vi if not today, then tomorrow at most. Um, it is just sitting on the 382 at 285. 
Sell pressures coming in. Buy pressures dying down. RSI seems to be going back up to oversold. And it's just consolidating right there, which usually means it's going up. Um, what's Benzinga saying? Let me go to my portfolio. Because uh, I know it's in there. And I'm not really paying attention to anything outside of my portfolio right now. Ooh, BTX really didn't do anything. You can get out of there. I don't care about you. All right, well. Um, let's see. Gainers in the last five minutes of the after hours would be useless. Come on. Applied filters. Oh, this computer is getting slizzo. Come on. Getting tired of things not working. All right, guys, I'm going to take a, a quick break. Um, probably five, ten minutes tops. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw. They'll be right back on. Where are you, buddy? Be right back. And I'm going to leave you on Benzinga for when it finally works. Oh, I don't really need it on there if I leave it on Benzinga. So I'll get rid of that. Oh, well, hello. Let's just not do that there. Looks like I'm having some internet troubles, but at least, let's see, is it, nope. It's not messing with the stream, so that's the most important thing. Although I would like the stream and my tools to work at the same time. All right, Benzinga loading back up. Total flop. Screw you, dude. Look at this face. You're a douche. Taylor S987. You can kiss ass. Jerk off. I don't know, man. I take this shit personal. Oh, here we go. We got a person. Hold on, one. Hold on, buddy. Let me get back. Okay. P R P O analysis. You got it. Let's see. P R P O. Oh, Precipio. I saw this earlier. I talked about it. Okay. Let's let this little garbage deal load up. All right, get out of there. Get out of there. I got you, bro. Just give me a minute. And let's look at... Ooh, 90%. I, um... I was looking at this earlier. Let me just take a look at the financials real quick. Floats low. Oh, healthcare is getting wrecked right now. 9%, 34. What's our assets versus our earnings? Long-term debt, nothing. 20 million assets. Live. Ooh. Two and two million revenue. Where's our growth? Oh, negative? Gross margin. EPS. Uh, earnings per share is negative. That's not good. This is a split bag. Shares outstanding, 18. Institutional, okay. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay. Some good stuff happening. All right, so before I do the chart, let's go ahead. All right. I don't even know what portfolio this is locked on. It's probably going to show you my personal info. Please don't hack me. Oh, I'm 35,000 out of... Great. Wow. Great. Like I give a shit. P-R-P-O. All right, Precipio. What was this? This is the one with some, um, this is biotech. What is this? I forgot what they did. Oh, it's already broke. 
down. Oh, shit. Oh, we're going to turn. Okay. I'm going to have to make some... I'm going to have to do some things on that. <laughs> All right, we got a moderate buy on... Wait, 348? Is that where we're at? Yeah, 348. Okay. So, smart scores four from the analysis. Moderate buy. Uh, screw that. Technicals are saying it's negative, but the momentum's huge. Okay, fundamentals. Asset growth has been by 6%. That's good. Uh, analysts. They're usually a bunch of jack-offs. I think Charlie from ZipTrader calls them the monkey analysts. All right, nothing that matters here a month ago. All right, whatever. Bloggers, nothing. Insiders, months ago means nothing. News, seven days ago. Current sign customers, one million annual. Yeah, it's already a, a week ago. Hedge funds, nothing. Charts. Um... Okay. Seven. Oh, that's the worst. You don't want to see parabolic moves like that. Okay, earnings. Unless you're in it already and then you're selling. The EPS from the same quarter last year were down negative uh, 0.19. Smart sco score sucks. Um, not seeing any positives. Where's our year over year? I'm negative, so we're negative. Revenue's good, though. Debt compared to liability. Assets to liabilities, good. Deck to equities over 0.1. This means nothing. Institutional insider ownership's good. What news made this happen today? I actually read it before. Um, it had to have been this earlier. Shares resume. Pulls that. Shares halted on circuit, but highlights successful launch. Oh, so they have a COVID-19 rapid antibody test on Amazon's business platform. Okay. So they might make a whole crap load of money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't even need to read that. Okay. Let's also, before I get to that, PRPO. Let's see what's going on here. 28,000 watching. Pretty good. Looks like we topped at four. What is this, a one hour? A one day? Oh, yeah, one day. I don't like that. I like when I'm, like, an analyzing to look at that. All right, let's see real time. Someone knows what the revenue expected from this partnership with Amazon, please. Why would they know? Idiots. Bearish. Screw you. I hate, I hate shorters, man. I, I gotta be honest. I, I gotta be honest, man. And I have short Bitcoin before, so I mean, I've done it. I just don't short companies. I just don't. I probably should. Um, but I hate them so much that I don't want to. I'll probably eventually do it. But, like, I hate you. If I'm in a security and you're shorting it, I want you to know that I hate you. I freaking hate you. Like, I literally hope shit happens to you. Negative shit. I'm not going to make anything specific, but you're a dick. Short this and it's going to be a funeral. I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. Love. You're a douche. No, I shouldn't mute it. Uh, I want I want to hear what everybody has to say. But love this. See, I literally said something just like that a second ago. All right. So we are very heavily shorted. They always short the good ones so this is some good news josh are you still here josh if you're still here i want you to say something just say you're still here if you're still here joshua if you're still here say you're here please it's probably gonna take a second All right, I'm going to keep going because I am on a delay again, and I don't want to restart the stream. Um, but that delay is really getting irritating. 
All right, PRPO. Oh, wow. Bounced off the zero. What a surprise. So, okay, you said analysis. So right now we are... If we open above this 15, we are going to head back up. Our point of control where people feel is the most value for the stock is at 376. I feel like we're at least going to make it back up to there. Um, we need to open this minute where we're at, and then we should break through this. These are all areas of res uh, resistance, and then we want to break over this point of control to take control. Um, RSI is healthy. It's at 46, and it's on its way up. We just got a green signal on your MACD. Your moving average convergence divergence is what that means. Um, here's your auto Fibonacci. And you know what? I might even, I'm going to go a step further for you, my man. Oh, wait, are you here? Ah, screw it. I'll just do it anyway. Um, looks like Mac or RSI got a little halted on the 0.236. But it started a candle above the 15. Let's, if we keep going, we want to break the 50. Um, what time is it? It's 114 Eastern Standard. Uh, don't like that. These are basically saying different things. This should turn. Um, oh, it's coming back under. So now it's under the support level, but it needs to start the candle. Start your candle over this. I want three consecutive candles started over the 15. There's another one. Should be right there. It needs to break this res this resistance. Um, let's see. Nah, that's funny. Can we please go now? Easy money here once it hits Amazon. Just look at the news. Yeah, I mean, just on sentiment... Just on sentiment, this is doing well. You're way over your 200, way over your VWAP. You're just under your 50 and your 15. Uh, I'm sorry, you're over your 15. So you're just under the 50 at this point. That's a death cross, though. Although, wait, maybe it's the... No, 50 and 200 the death cross. Forget that. Didn't mean it. Um, but we are... All right, we opened another candle. We should blast through. We need to break over the 50-day. Let's see... What's our high for the day? 402. Okay. All right. Let's take this to motive wave. Um. Yeah, let's take this to motive wave. What is it? PCPO? Oh, PRPO. Not <laughs> PCPO. That's funny. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and throw some templates on it. Bam. Yes. Final setup. All right. This thing has been so good. B to C. Is this the sixth? Oh, that's not today. All right, I don't want to look at the 30 minute. Let's look at the five. I want to see where we end. Hmm. Where's all the ones in between? Four twenty. Hmm. And then May fourth. So that's gonna end in A B C. That's usually a correction. One, two, three, four, five. And this was going up. So it should see a one, two, Three or one, two, three, four, five, and then A, B, C. Honestly, hmm. Now, without sh what's the short interest? What was that really good? I had a really good thing I saved today. Where is it? No. Float checker. Oh, no, I don't want that. Um, I'll just find something I have here already. Let's see. Uh, short volumes. Why not? Is 
The short sale volume percent for ticker is 24% on April 30th. What do I care about three days ago? The short sale volume percent is up 6% compared to April 29th. That's all I get. 358. Whoa. Is that a daily? That's a daily. I hate dailies. Candles. Um, we had such a huge move, dude. I'm not even showing anybody in the room with me. All right, so let me finish this out on PRPO. Um, shit. If we break over the 50, I could see us ending the day at 420. Oh, no. 440, actually. Somewhere between 440 and 420. I'm going to say 420. I know that's funny, but... We're going to end the day at 420 as long as the shorts don't um, come into control. Wow, I am so behind. Yeah. We got to break over this 50. If we break over this 50, so here, here's your caveats. I don't know if you're still here. If you're here, you are. If you're not, you're not. Um, and this just keeps getting shorted down. Every time it gains a little bit, it just gets shorted down. Like this is really short, short winded buy areas that way longer sell areas. Um, crap. We're either going to end in the low threes or we're going to end in the low fours. Um, it really depends. If we break, if we break 355, I could see us ending at 320. If we break 369, I could see us ending at 420. Oh, wait, is that almost exactly? Oh, yeah, it is. 420 or 320. It all depends on which one you break. And then you need three consecutive bars starting over. And then I'll say that you're there. And you really kind of want to be above your point of control, to tell you the truth. So, this is a good company from what I'm seeing. Um, I'd probably grab a few shares for the road. Once this starts selling and they release that revenue from Amazon, it's going to blast. Not financial advice. So that's what I'm saying. Do you have any more specific questions? Because it's just analysis. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like the shorters are in control. Might end up on the 320 side. So I'm just going to throw some arrows on the joint. So we're either ending. I'm going to do it for Wait, it's 16 o'clock. It's 4 o'clock. All right, whatever. I'll put it there. So we're either going to go there. Or we're going to go there. Um, honestly, my money is on here. They're just, it's, it's great. Anytime good news happens. Have you seen the jump in BTX today? No idea. Just coming across it on my screener. Oh, dude, I was talking about that at like 6 in the morning. That's been it. Bro, it was $91 in the pre-market. It's not even showing up on some charts. Yeah, BTX. I Oh, yeah, I saw it. I stayed away. I, I've mentioned it probably like 20 times um, on the first stream and probably a few times on this one, which I feel like I'm going to have to restart because how far back am I? Oh, I guess you won't know when I'm talking compared to when you hear it. Damn it. Oh, yeah, I'm only, I'm about 10 seconds behind. Um, so I'm leaning more towards I'm leaning more towards this. So, I mean, it sucks, but the shorters are douchebags, man. They're shorting good news. So, find someone that shorts stocks and punch them in the face. Honestly, Frickin' douchebags. 
I I cannot like I, I I gotta be honest like I hope it ruins their lives. I hope shorting stocks ruins your life. I'm sorry if that's harsh, but this is my money. I'm gonna treat a shorter the same way I would treat a robber. And if someone tried to rob me, I'd shoot them. Okay, so that's what I think. Oh no! Oh hey Mo. Um. Oh, did you want me to talk about BTX at all? after that but yeah it was 91 in the pre-market now it's in the 60s i wouldn't touch it um they had good news though and we know what happens with good news no the second job is not in the medical field it's as a blockchain encryption consultant so i'm basically a sales dude i mean let's be honest like it sounds cooler than it is because i wanted blockchain i wanted to get into finance i don't want to be in health anymore um, I want to go into finance and to computer sciences, and I might even go for a third degree um, and double major in um, either economics, finance, accounting. I don't want to do accounting, actually. Economics, finance, or and double major in, um, what do you call it? Hold on, one and computer science. Um, this keeps happening. Let me just get out of that. It's pissing me off. All right, so I'm not looking at that anymore. It doesn't look like we have Joshua here anymore. He hasn't said anything. Um, but you got your analysis, brother, and it's looking real bad for you. It looks like they're going to short this into the 320s, probably into the early threes. If it goes lower, then I don't know. Find a shorter or punch him in the face. I mean, that's what I'm going to do when I find one. I'll tell you the truth. If someone comes up and admits that they're shorting a stock I'm in, I'm going to fight them. That's immature. You should not do that. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm just telling you right now. Um, yeah, blockchain. Okay, so as I was saying, uh, the new job is basically... So you know how um, medical facilities... Oh, of course, medical. And a lot of big places all back up their stuff, right? And they usually back it up to a server. So basically, I'm convincing them to back it up to a blockchain. Like a company that's made their own blockchain... And then they bring it, they basically have two blockchains. They give you one that's like in this giant server deal, <laughs> kind of funny. Um, and that stays on, on site. And then the other one is stretched out over 850 nodes all over the country. Um, so if somebody tries to hack your stuff, there's an early warning on it. And, and all of your information is basically shredded and bounces back and forth between the nodes. And, less, and if they feel that somebody is trying to break in, then they'll immediately pull that off and put it onto a secondary server that's not attached to your server. So it's way better than, um, than a regular server cloud. Way better. Um, so, but I don't like sales, to tell you the truth. Even though I've done sales, I was actually the manager of sales for North America for a record label. But I hate sales. I hate it. I don't want to do sales. I don't want to ask you to do shit for me. I just don't. I don't want to. Um, that being said, it'll look good on my resume and we'll see what happens, you know. Um, hopefully I'll get some people to buy it. And I'm going to rely more on my connections uh, than cold calling. They want me to cold call. Um, and I, I really don't want to. I got to be honest. I really don't want to. I'm, I'm going to, and I have done some of it. Um, I don't enjoy it. So, and why am I going to do a third thing that I don't enjoy? Uh, sounds fancy. Good to be in something where your passions lie. Otherwise, it's just a job and eventually grinds you down. Exactly. Wasn't there a coin a few years back targeting medical info on blockchain? Yes, yes. Dude, I can't remember. It was probably MedCoin or something. Um, medical chain. Blockchain vehicles. Application of blockchain to maintaining patient records. See, this is actually... I'm going to save this for... I'm going to save that. Um, yeah, medical coin, I guess. Or medical chain. I think there's a few of them, though, dude. Oh, and your health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this has got to be it. 
This has got to be it. Um, what's the coin? Med tokens. You can buy med tokens. Okay. Let's see. I can imagine how those cold calls must go, especially when the person on the other side is no not exactly, dude. They don't know what you're talking about. And then they're and then they're douches and like I do not respond well to attitudes. I just don't. I'm not a like eat shit type of person. I can't help it. And I know that like sometimes I have to, sometimes I'm gonna. But like my reaction inside my, like if if you're being negative towards me and I'm smiling, just know that I'm cursing you out in my head. And I'm probably thinking about cracking you one. Um 0 0.0065. This doesn't look like it's done well. Fully diluted market cap. I don't know, dude. I mean, it's really no I don't know. I don't know. I mean that I mean it could be something. It's if it's not if it's not pumping with the whole market pumping. Yeah, this has been a while. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's listed on all these places for that little amount of money. No, I'd stay away from it. If it's if it's where it's at right now, then there then someone probably has something better. Somebody probably has something better. You don't need med tokens anyway. You could just, like I said, like I'm t saying, you could just back up the medical records onto a blockchain. They don't have to be tokens attached to it. Just a, not everything on a blockchain has to have a cryptocurrency. Oh, really? Really? The one that I'm trying to? Oh, let's see what the warnings are. Yeah, the warnings are stop buying crap for a quick turnaround. Oh, Jesus. All right, I don't even want to look at that. So this is down. Oh, but this is like four days ago. This means nothing. 4.30. So there's nothing past 4.30. Never using your garbage site again. I want, I want an hourly update or go out of business and let, let actual short, um, actual you know businesses or actual websites that give you the information hourly let let them do it you just back off because you suck um let's see all right i don't want to look at this anymore because i don't care about it let's go back to the one that's cabbage huh this is gonna take a dump i hope it does i made a uh i have a buy at 269 Take a dump right down here, bro. But then bounce. Do I even have any statistical reason for it to bounce from there? I don't. I mean, maybe here, but not really. Uh, I don't know. It's a crapshoot. I just really want to get out of it. I don't even care if it's a million dollars. Like, it, if someone was like, wait six months to be a million dollars, I'd be like, just give me a hundred for it now. Let me get out. I don't have time to wait. There's too many things to do. There's too many things to pay attention to. Is this turning? Hey, maybe it'll turn it and burn right through. I'd like that. I really like that. All right. Well, let's see. Oh, hold on. What do we got? I got Mo talking. I'm down around 1200 on crypto over the last month chasing quick gains. Yes. Momentum plays. Just don't do it. High conviction only. Until you until you're a master. And there's like pro and then master and I'm like under pro. And I'm and I'm honestly I was trading stocks since 2008. And I'm 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 a under pro. I mean I took like a 9 year hiatus, really. Well, honestly a 10 year hiatus. And started last year. <laughs> again so but that's when i was doing it i had some success but i stuck strictly with pennies oh god what happened to my charts my all right at least the internet's working on my computer but my um new low for gme down to 159.88 i just got that on my momo scanner 
159.75. Is that correct? Yep, it is correct. We are on a new low. We just broke support. We are under the point of control as well. We are turning bearish. Oh, crap. Okay. Hey, it's what it is. I don't like that we're under 10. I don't like that we're under 160, but it is what it is. Everything is just getting hammered that I'm in. Let's take a look at the overall market. Oh, I see a lot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, looks like sideways, sideways down on the NASDAQ. Yeah. So the market's not doing awesome. New low for GME. Yeah, I get it. It's going down. I get it. All right. Bum, 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 bum. Pixie. Oh. HCMC has given back all of its gains for the day. It's back to 0.0024 and 235 in between there. Um, okay, sorry, Mo. I got a little distracted, but you know that's how I do. Uh, hoping to get back to around 10 gay and stick $500 on 20 coins. I'm so late on momentum plays. It's, it's the like the guy who turns up at the club when the last song is playing and the lights are on. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's just not worth it, man. You need to like look far out, um, and you need to you need to get to a place like you can't like what I'm doing is the worst thing is because I'm trying to clean up past mistakes, and then I can't focus on future gains because I'm focusing on past mistakes to fix them. So it's better to just not make those to begin with. So once I get down to my five plays, not including GME and game and AMC. Um, that's what I'm sticking with five and I might even go down to one and then work from there It's like you can make a living off of just trading Tesla You know So it's like being spread too far. It kind of keeps you, you know Spread out so that if anything happens, you're not really gonna get destroyed because one will go up the other will go down and then you know It's good to you know be spread out like that, but it's not good like that's good if you're beginning, but if you're if you're really trying to like make gains on a like lock in your gains every day and not swing and really like more day trade or just swing trade on a day or two, you want to focus on just a few. All right, so this is taking a dump. I'm going back to Pixie because that was my goal for days to get the hell out of that, and it is just it keeps going up when I was trying to uh, average it. Up, oh, looks like we're gonna about to have a dump. So that'll be nice. So I still have a buy at 269. That'll bring me to 317. What does 200 do again? 314, I bet. Oh, 312. All right. What does 300 do? 308. Yep. What does 400 do? 304. 305. Hmm. What does 500 do? 302. Shit. What does 1,000 do? At least I know that that'll be $2,690. 293. Still not where I want to be. Not worth putting, you know, almost 3,000. Another 3,000. All right. Well, that's fine. So let's just see what happens with Pixie. Um, Benzinga, what's going on with you, brother? Let me get one of these workspaces out. What's in this one? Oh, shit, Pixie. Pixie, you suck. Well, I suck for buying into it. That's my bad. It's okay. Not a big deal. Let's see what... Ugh, it's just going to be a bunch of people talking crap. You know what? I'll tell you. Um, stock twits seems to be slowing me down a lot. I'll just get out of it. All right. 
Oh, I just heard something weird on my stream. Like somebody else picked up a mic or something. Meant to play is da 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 da. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh, Blackberry. Honestly, the bottom. Uh, hopefully we we turn in the next penny. Uh, that being said. What the hell? They got some huge contracts. I'm telling you, shorters are just going after good news. ADMP getting wrecked. Pixie is holding up, believe it or not. And they're into like four SPACs. They got a ton of money. Dogecoin's the only freaking winner today. Um, All right. Broke. Yep. That's kind of what I thought was going to happen. I mean, we took a little different route. I'm going to start drawing these so I could see because I forget what my prediction was. Oh, Bitcoin going back up. That's good. Who else did I have a prediction on? HCMC getting ripped. Uh, F SFTW. I don't even know what I was thinking with this one. But it's also another one that like, if I sold it, it I don't think my account would move. It wouldn't matter. All right, so I am gonna take another break, gentlemen. Um, outside of Mo, if you don't say hi, I don't know you're there. Um, so I'm gonna talk to just Mo specifically until you say something, uh, cause Mo is my dog. Um, so Mo, is there anything specific on, um, uh, Benzinga that you want to see while I'm on break that you want to like monitor? I got everything, literally everything on here. I could turn on the, I'm going to turn on the squawk box too. Um, this dude gives you the news before it's printed. I had to turn it off cause he was just talking while I was talking before. Um, what, tell me what you want, brother. What do you want me to leave it on while I'm on break? I got everything. I got news feeds. I got full on signals. Wait, wait what do you mean my request timed out? Love to talk about VeChain. Okay. Yeah, I'm into VeChain long term. I'm into VeChain. Why are my spikes not working? Or why are my signals not working? I can't. There we go. Regular. My signals aren't working. That's pissing me off. V-Chain. V-Chain. My man wants to talk about V-Chain. Oh, so I got some stuff that you probably want to check out. So let's see. What did you want? So just so that's vet. Yes, sir. And vet when you stake it has the VThor thing. I did it like a couple of years ago. I hate being too early. You might as well be too late. It's like the same thing. Um, here's your metrics. Ugh. 86 billion. Oh man, that's way too many. It's okay though. Liquid supply curve. Oh, this is cool. Kind of shows you who's got um, I don't know if that's dollars or coins. Smart contracts. What is VeChain? Not your keys, not your crypto. Oh, that's from forever ago. All right, none of this really matters. See all metrics.
Twenty fifty year plus ten reported supply. Okay. I think this is basically like what they say is gonna like take Ethereum over, and Ethereum's going to ten k. So, who knows? Ethereum doesn't have any anywhere near to this supply, though. I don't think. Are my signals back? They're not. Okay, that's fine. Let's just go to the scanner mover. Oh, here's, you can see here, here it is, bro, BTX. Um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't touch it right now, even though it's coming up. I forgot what the news was. Something, that, is, is this the COVID test? Oh, that was PCPO. I feel like they had a COVID play too. Everything's got to do with COVID. Like just United States of COVID. Like it's all that they that like is mentioned about anything. All right, well, let's see. Dogecoin, bro. Oh, Doge over the 15. Holding strong. I don't even know what profile this is. All right, whatever. So, I am going to take a break. Nobody else has any questions. Um, for now, Mo will talk about, we'll go, we'll do a deep dive into VeChain when I come back. Um, whatever you want to know. Um, let's see. Oh, what am I doing? I know what the coin is. Um, I just want to look at it on US, on Binance because that's what I use. All right, whatever. Ooh, look at this. Is this today? Is this the one minute? Oh, wow. All right, well, it's definitely poised to come down, though. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's about to turn. All right. So we'll talk about that when I come back. Scanner Mover is going to be on for now. Um, I don't see other, any other questions right now. Let me just check Motive Wave real quick and look at Pixie. Where am I? PRPO. All right. Whatever. Let's go back to Pixie. Update. Same old crap. 277 now. Okay, that's great. Up to 293. On the one minute. Let's do a three minute. Where's the C? I see the B, but I don't see the C. Whatever. Oh, no. Right about there. All right, let's just go back to a one minute. So here's the prediction. It's boom, boom. This is a small A, so this is a sub wave, and then this is a main wave. Just an FYI. And this is coming down. All right. Going to go on break now. Happy that you're here. Any questions, just go ahead and leave them in the chat. Mo, I'll talk to you soon. This one's going to be a little bit longer, 5, 10 minutes or so. Um, I will leave the scanner on. I'll get rid of this. So... Uh, right here, you are looking at basically the entire stock market and what's moving. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. I'm getting an alert that the lowest priced. I'm sure this is going to be still over $1,000. Is this a 3070? A 3070 for $1,600. I'd sooner cut off a freaking toe. Okay. So your movers are in the top left. These are met. Oh, this is for the pre market. Regular session 
And this is gainers and losers over the last five minutes of the pre-market. So this is who's getting wrecked in red. Green is who's going up. Uh, here's all of your movers. Your scanner. And it's scanning for, let's see what the filters are. Okay. Volume under 10K. Or over 10K. Oh, no, that's the minimum. Minimum of 10K. Refreshing every 10 seconds. The change is every five minutes. Let's do it to a minute. Nope, let's go back to five. There we go. Here's your change. Change in five minutes. Change since pre-market. Volume. And now I've made it. In, is it in descending volume? Yeah. All right. No, it's not because there's a million after here. All right. Well, it's just going to keep changing anyway. So here's your scanner with your movers. Here's your gainers over the session. Here's your gainers and your losers over the last five minutes of the regular session. All right. And this is all you'll need for now. Um, take your time, man. I'm going for a smoke and a quick snack. All right, Mo, do your thing. I'll be back. Um, rock and roll. Any questions, just go ahead and leave them in the chat. And we are rocking and rolling.
Jar. She's living to the high scale of 57 cents. That's a split six percent. Appreciate Jar. CFE, Pfizer, White House backed Pfizer release of the new U.S. vaccine exports. That's CFE and Dean Peel.
and that was press release update this press release is from Boeing here Boeing press release announcing Lufthansa has purchased five added 777 Dreamliners from Boeing that's ticker BA Bravo Alpha shares rebounding from around the 235 level here over the last couple minutes. Shares up about a three quarters of a percent last trade around the 236 level in shares of Boeing ticker BA.
seen some comments from Fed Chair Jay Powell via Reuters. Jay, Pow Jay Powell saying that the U.S. economic outlook has, quote, clearly brightened. He says the economy is not yet out of the woods, but we are now making, quote, real progress. Powell reiterating that the U.S. economy will only reach full potential when everyone can contribute to and share in the benefits of prosperity. Again, stock quiet following those comments from Powell. S&P 500 futures last trading just under 41.92. That's up about four tenths of a percent for the session. Hey, I am back. I had the mic on mute for a good two minutes just now. Sorry about that. Um, I put it on mute in two different places and forgot to take it off in the second place. Uh, just give me a minute to I got my feedback loop in there. All right, so uh, PRPP, or I'm sorry, PRPO. Let's take a look at that real quick. PRPO. All right. So it looks like I drew two possible directions. I thought maybe we were going to go. Oh, we still have room. 
Uh, but we did have two thesis for this, and it looks like the second one is being a little bit more accurate. So let's bang back, take a look at this. Let's go ahead and bang this to a 15 minute. Oh, so we're oversold to hell, and we are definitely about to turn. So unless this has, yeah, we are literally a seconds from a red dot. Let's get this in view. All right. Uh, all right, and that one's in view as well. All right, so Precipio, looks like we're going to be heading more towards the $4.20 range. Let me pull up Motive Waves real quick. PRPPO on the four minutes. Let's put it on the one minute. All right, and it looks like these things have all extended back. Let's get them out of the way. All right, so, oh, look at that. Even higher. So it's looking for a three wave even, even higher before, actually in the next, uh, I guess in the next 15 minutes is expecting it, it looks like. Let's just go ahead and Oh, I don't have it here. Um, I can't update. Hmm. Let's just do this. We'll just add it on. Doesn't matter. And for anybody that doesn't know, this is Motive Waves, which I am trying out right now. It is really, really cool. Auto analyze. What's that? I'll have to look at that at some point. Um, study overlays, auto Elliott wave. All right, let's throw another one on there and let's update it. All right, well, it's still saying the same thing. Let's throw it on a five. seeing anywhere else past that three I guess it's only really predicting one move let's see what happens in 30 minutes uh, 429 still all right so it looks like the bull thesis might be the correct one it looks like it has to take a dip so three to four to five where's the five I see the C the B to the C. One, two, three, four. We need a fifth. There should be a five under here or something. Up, oh, BRN making a new high consistently. That's the beeping you're hearing behind you. Mo, if you're around, uh, please say something because I'm probably going to uh, call it for a little while. I'm going to take a break. Um, I've been doing this for hours now. Let's see. So, Pixie, Pixie, let's go back to Pixie. Pixie was my goal for the day to get out of. Uh, but we still don't know. I'm thinking we might see some movement in the aftermarket, but I just don't know what direction yet. I'm not seeing. Well, there we go. So, two to a three at 275. Do we have anything else we want to look at? I'm seeing anything else anywhere? Alright, I don't see any other movements that it's calling for. Although it kept calling for some stuff up here before. Okay. Oh, a 3, 2, or an even lower 3. 254. Interesting. Alright, well, I mean, if that's what it is, that's what it is. So I'm going to hold off. So I'm using this as kind of a extra indication of whether I should average down or not in this one stock. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move this to 254. And show details. And you're going to see my trade change. I'm just going to do it over here on the iPad. 
I'm not really sure how to change it on there yet. Alright. I don't know if you heard that. Um, okay. So. Hmm. So let me figure out how to get that sound back. Give me a moment. Um, desktop audio. Advanced. Monitor. Not what I'm looking for. Lock volume. Properties. Let's see. Use device. Time span. Cancel. Now this did work before, but I did something. This is why you uh, learn it rather than trying to do a trial by fire. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, it had to have been coming through in two places, so. It was just because my mic is on. There's just nothing I could do about that unless I mute. Yeah, okay. That's fine. All right, so let me back out of Motive Wave. We're going to hold off on buying any more of that right now. Looks like PRPO is going the direction that I thought it might. And let's see. Oh, I was going to replace this order to 254. Oh, wrong one. All right, cancel, replace. Cancel, replace. Let's bring that down to 254. That's where we think it'll go. Let's go to GTC EXT. And boom, boom. This is the buy. Okay, I don't want to make sure I don't sell them for that cheap again. All right. Now you should see on Motive Wave. Where are we, baby? And now it just moved down to 254. So I'm using this to kind of figure out my average down points. And I'm just randomly updating it. What? Oh my goodness. So now it's saying 240. All right. That's fine. I will continuously move it down. I just want to um, get out of the stock. Now it's 240. All right. Let's go ahead and review that. And buy. There we go. And I'll continuously move it as I see. Um, things move with the Elliott Wave predictor. And I'm actually going to just make this a little bit more visible for right now. So you can see what's happening. That's got to turn blue. Not sure how to do that. There we go. Oh, maybe I'll just touch a price. Yep. Gotcha. I gotta go through it. Keeps doing that. Alright, so we'll see what happens from here. Large. All right, that's not too bad. 
All right, do we have any questions from anybody? No questions. All right, we're just still rocking and rolling here. I'm probably going to end up um, taking a long break and just leaving it to run for a while. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. AMC is at 969 right now. And it's just, looks like it's just hovering under some legacy resistance, some trend line resistance. Monstrous drop. And, but we have green. So we got a turnaround on our MACD and on our RSI. So we should see some hits up here. These are all resistance points, though, so we got a lot to work through. Resistance, 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 resistance. And there's a little resistance right there. So we got a lot to work through. Uh, I was thinking we might go there. Let's see. Oh, GME. I guess I thought it would come down to this trend line and then come back here. It kind of did that, but we got the same exact. And these are on the 15. Let's go ahead and switch back to the minute. God, it's so much easier to navigate trading view than any other platform, I tell you. For me, at least it's my preference. I really want a midline on one of these. Uh, let's do that. Let's do a midline in a 30. Oh no, we already have a 30. Let's do a 40 and a 50. There's our 50. All right, so let's go ahead and change the coordinates there to 50. And we'll just change this to black. And that's our midline. All right. We already know where that's at. All right, so, oh, and you know what? Let's just make that a line. Let's make it thinner. And a little bit more translucent. So now we have to 50 midline, so we don't have to look. And then we'll just go ahead and do this 40. Looks like it rides on 40 a lot. So we're going to go on the 40. We'll change some things. We'll make it a regular line. Tune. Bring that down to 40. And we'll leave it red. Do we want to leave it? Let's leave it red. Just now resuming trade. That's with the Bravo Romeo November shares continuing higher here. All right, so I just turned off the mic for a second so that it wouldn't come out as a. Uh, yeah, so it wouldn't come out uh, with an echo. All right. Oh, new high for BRN. Oh, no. There's some stuff moving right now. Take a look. Let's see what my watch list says. Shares halted on another circuit breaker here. The stock halted up about 86 and a half percent. That's with the Bravo Romeo November. Yeah, that BRN I sold uh, for like twenty dollar profit like a month ago. Not even a couple weeks ago. Just perfect. That is funny. All right. Let's see lags. All right. Bottom wall at this week's ticker VR and just note that not an interesting news out of the company this week. Just said it does move higher. That's ticker VRN.
Look at that move on BRN. Oh, my God. I don't even remember. I don't even want to look at where I bought and sold it at. Uh, you know what? It could have been higher. Actually, I think I sold it higher than this. But wow, look at that. Halted. Definitely staying away from that. Don't know what's going to go on. All right, Triteris still getting ricked. HCMC holding at 0 0.022 between that and 2.1. Just over and over and over. And looks like it's coming down soon. Uh, GameStop. Consolidating. Should have a bounce off of one of these supports. And it looks like... Oh, you know what? Let me... What was this? Uh, let me save that. So I don't lose those lines. All right. AACG actually having some movement today. Um, I don't know why these, these are like one hour candles on a one minute chart. Not sure why. Like why would the why is this not in minutes? I'm not sure. Trading view's been really acting weird like that, so Doji. Hopefully pumps from there. It's under the VWAP. Actually, is that the VWAP? It is. VWAP really should be. Um, nah, I'll keep it as a line. All right, no questions yet. No questions. So let's see. ADMP still getting beat down. Pixie in this weird consolidation pattern still. I really want to uh, sell out of this thing. I don't know what it's doing, to tell you the truth. SFTW. Still barcoding. Disappointing. Electric car, not moving. I think they have some serious contracts coming up, so hopefully that'll do something. Blackberry showing a little bit of life after its bounce down to 857. Over the point of control right now, very, very, I mean, this is supposed to have a hundred. Yeah, this is supposed to have a hundred rows and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So not a lot of room, not a lot of difference in opinion of price. It's either somewhere between 857 and 864 is what they think. Okay. GME a little different. A lot of different prices involved. AMC, still teetering. Looks like it stopped at some legacy trend line resistance. And hopefully we can break through, but it's over our major moving averages, but under our 200 EMA and way under our VWAP. Um, all right, so uh, if there's no questions, no, nobody really wants to say anything. Um, it says I got two people watching. At least, but that's okay. Um, hold on one second. Let me see some things. All right, well, my stream health is still good. So we're good with that. Um, I think I'm going to take a long break. Or maybe I just want to stop the stream and start up later. That might be a better idea. Hmm. I'm not sure. Still trying to average down. I think I'm going to stop the stream. Um, yeah, we're going to call it right here. I might come back later. Uh, we're coming into power hour, but 
I'm going on four hours on this one. I've been doing this since about 6 a.m. and now it's three. It's feeling like a work day for me. Hmm. I'll come back if there's some something to talk about. Um, but I feel like we did a good amount today. And I just want to thank everybody that did watch for coming and watching and supporting me. And hopefully we can keep this going. Um, and this is something that I could slowly build. Um, I hope that I can provide value to people. I will, you know, I keep saying that I'm going to make specific videos and not just live stream, but I just haven't had time. It, um, it just is what it is, unfortunately. Um, I will, I will be doing that. And also, you know, I was noticing that some dudes, while they live stream, will make like little sections and then kind of like have an intro and an outro and then just cut that later and use that as a separate video. So that's possibly something I might do. Um, you know, that's possible. I'll look through the video later and maybe see if there's any snippets. Um, still nobody saying anything. Moe's probably doing his thing. Just want to say peace to Mo. Thanks for coming. Um, if the market starts doing anything crazy, I will get back on. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and um, take a rest and let my buy and sell orders work themselves out. What is this, 293? 1,000 shares. Yeah, that's not right. There you go. So that's going to be that for now. Whoa, uh, look. Well, Victor Bravo is on here. That I appreciate it. Doing calls with you. The stock is halted at uh, just under 2.42 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Stock has now been halted longer than a five-minute circuit breaker. If the circuit breaker would be a 10-minute circuit breaker, expect shares to resume trade at 2.51 and 57 seconds p.m. That is ticker Bravo Romeo November. Wow, and no specific news on it either, huh? That's interesting. Let's see. I mean, it should be here somewhere. Has my, uh, let me just see. I had some issues. My scanners weren't working. They're still not working. My signals. You know, I pay way too much money for these to not be working, but I have a feeling that it might be, uh, on my end. Maybe. Although, if my stream is healthy, then this should be healthy, too. Up oh, there we go. Let's see. Those are working. I'm gonna have to. I would have to start all of them back up. It's really a pain in the ass. Uh, let's take a look. Why not? Why would BRN do what it's doing? God, I think I recently just got out of that too. Where are you, BRN? Yeah, so maybe this is a, uh, this is either my, let me take a look. No, I'm not, I mean, it's not the worst. Hmm. Well, some options activity happening. I'm wondering if I should leave this up. this up um, let's see just looking around sorry from being having uh, area you know areas of being quiet I'm just kind of thinking at the same time um oh well you know what let's go Workspace 16. There we go. Let's see if maybe we could. Yeah, that's sucking. Pixie, you suck. BRN. Oh, looks like it started trading again. Ooh, when it just keeps going. Well, that's what happens. That's what happens. I'll start telling you guys when I sell so that you know that it'll go crazy. <laughs> um, but like I said, being early is just as bad as being late when it comes to uh, investments. 
I was way early on, not way early, but too early on crypto, too early on a lot of stocks, got out, and then people come in way later. But you just get tired of trying to convince people that something like, you know, that Bitcoin. You know how many people told me it was a scam at 3,000 and I'm an idiot and da-da-da-da-da? Well, we're, we're, how you doing now? 50-something thousand dollars. How about that? Sound good? That's what I thought. And Ethereum, shit, I mean, XRP is like $1.50 right now. Um, all these things were less than a penny in the not too distant past. So let's see, they they got second, Just I just see halting, N reason not available. This is 2.30 p.m. So there's, so they don't have a reason. So what's going on? Hmm. I don't see any Press release. Riot Blockchain announces appointment of Mega Brooks as why would that be in CNN? Hmm. AMC Entertainment Holdings Inc. annual shareholders meeting May 4th. That is May the 4th be with you tomorrow. Um let's see, does this open easily? Okay, let's see. Where exactly is BRN in here? McPherson also currently serves on the board of directors of Barnwell. Oh, okay. So just because she's on the board of directors of Riot now. Oh, wait a second. Appointments. Bill McPherson, Mrs. Brooks. So, did it say Mrs. Brooks? I didn't see that. Megan Brooks is COO. Okay, so, okay, I get it. That's why BRN is blasting its ass up. Okay, okay. Well, oh, God, hope you didn't buy it before. Been there. Been there actually Friday. I was there Friday. It was looked like uh, this. It wasn't four exactly. I mean, I was trying to. That's the problem. Don't try to time anything. Just wait for it to settle. It was on its way down, and I caught myself the following night for real. But um, I averaged down, and I'm going to get out of it profitable. It just takes some time. I just don't like. I don't have patience for it, and that's the problem is that the market's all about patience. So you really. I need to grow a lot more patience because that's how you make the money. And if I held on to BRN. I mean, when did I have it last? I don't even know. Let me just look at this on an hour. I think it might have been higher. I think I might have sold it higher. I'd have to look. And that's never something that ma it doesn't really matter. So, all right. Well, I'm not getting into it now. Let's get rid of it. Doge pulling back. Let's just throw BTC in there just for the hell of it. USD, all, we want the U Binance US because that's what I'm using. I mean, I use, God, I use all of them. You could look under the video, Gemini, Coinbase, Binance, Kraken, you know, um, anyone that's, you know, legal for Americans, I use, use or have used. God, I've been through a lot as far as exchanges. I came in right after Man Mount Gox, thank God. I'll tell you, if anybody's listening out there and wants to uh, send me a 33,000 series GPU, I'll gladly pay MSRP for it. <laughs> These scalpers, I'll tell you. I'm running 1070s still because I can't get my hands on anything, and I've... Be damned if I'm going to pay more than I paid for a 2070 two years ago. That's insanity to me. Or, you, yeah, last year, two years ago? I don't know. Something like that. But I do have a 2070. I looked in my rig, and I forgot I had a 2070 in there and a 1080. 
and um, yeah, I'll be damned. I'd love a 3000 series though. Anybody feels like selling it for MSRP, I got you. I will buy that. Um, I'll buy a few of them too. Uh, let's see. So, not a lot to look at really. I mean, we saw why BRN went out, went up. And that's why Benzing is so amazing. You could find whatever you need to find as far as like reasoning. For charting, you need other stuff. You need trading view. Motive wave is the bomb. Probably going to end up dropping more money that I shouldn't. Um, but they have lifetime licenses, and there's just something I like about that. I hate monthly anything. So, But I have another like week or over to decide. All right, update that. 71, any further. There's got to be another one somewhere. Up oh, there's the three. Does that cancel? Does that mean cancel? I'd love if I could move it. I think I can move it here. Where is it at? 240? Oh my god, I can move it. That's awesome. Well, sinker swim's cool like that. And let me just bump it down to 241. Alright, I'm just gonna move this. I just wanted to see if I could do it. I never did that before. Oh, you know what? Maybe I didn't. That's why I'm here. All right. It's going to take a second to replace that. All right, people. Well, it has been fun. We are coming into power hour. It is right now at 3 o'clock. Um, maybe we'll go ahead and see if anything crazy is going on with our watch lists. I don't have any good watch lists here. Oh, here's what I was looking at. Let's see. Okay. Some things moving. Is SOS this cheap? This can't be the right SOS. I have to be looking at something different. Let's see. S O S. Nice. Being nice and slow. Okay. S O S. Limited ADR. Yep, that is correct. All right. So we're just rocking and rolling. We're still trying to get ourselves out of Pixie. Um, I think that I'm going to call it for now. It's been a good day. Um, didn't really get any trades in uh, outside of the trades on my crypto bot. Uh, just kind of waiting to see what's going on with Pixie. I really want that out before I do anything else. Um, just really dumping out of my plays so I can start fresh. That's really what I want to do. I got to... One, two, three, four, five, six momentum plays that I want to dump. Um, I mean, it's not even like 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 one of them's ten dollars down. I just refuse. I refuse to lose. <laughs> so I'm just waiting for that to go up a little bit. Another one's 150. I mean, comparatively, that's nothing. Um. Blackberries about four hundred and thirty dollars down, even though they're like doing all types of crazy stuff. Just good news has just not been rewarded, but I'm gonna have some patience. So, with that, oh excuse me, with that, I'm going to say goodbye and farewell. I might see you later. I might not. I hope that you have an amazing day, an amazing life, amazing trades. If you're a man, an amazing wife. 
I was just trying to rhyme. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. I didn't mean to do that. All right, so that's going to be it for me for now. This is Night Trader. Bobby Knight is out. I hope you all have a pleasant day. Please like and subscribe if you see this video. And I will check you on the next one.